that's not run my own stream. On my own background. Don't need that. Computer doesn't need that. Always a question of starts. Hello! Hey, everybody! Good morning, afternoon, evening, or however it is for you. And if it's still the 31st in your area, happy Halloween! If you're watching this in the future, it probably isn't. Alright, we got stats. There we go. That's how we know it's working. Music's loud? That doesn't surprise me. Oh, well. Wow. Master volume was actually a lot lower than I thought it was, considering how loud it was. There. Let me know if that's any better. Alright, yeah. Doesn't surprise me that Iratus was a bit loud. I'm trying to decide if I should start off my stream here with an energy drink or with some pumpkin cider. I mean, it is Halloween. What a surprising amount of sugars. I guess it is cider. I guess that makes sense. You think about it for like two seconds. Pumpkin cider's sounding good to me. Oh, I hear you. We, yeah, I don't think anyone is... Well, no, they're still expecting people to trick-or-treat around here, even the, with corona, the coronavirus. Uh, there's demonetization, by the way. That was fast. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I know that the schools and places around here were uh, doing, like, what they're calling trunk-or-treat, where you just stay in your car and they basically throw a bag of candy at you. Which works for me, I guess. Uh, don't celebrate it, uh, period. No, don't, don't celebrate the, you know, the Wiccan holiday over there. I don't know why. I mean, not, not that we celebrate. Not that we celebrate the pagan part of it anymore over here, either. It's just an excuse to buy candy. And put up spoopy things. Which, hey, I'm not complaining. If anything, we don't need excuses to do that. Or at least we shouldn't. Alright. It's 12.01. Let's go ahead and swap over to a main screen turn on. There we go. Alright. The only way, the only reason you know that we're playing Wrath of the Necromancer is because it actually says it. Alright. You visit the graves on the 1st of November for All Saints Day? Are you allowed to go to the Abbey for free on that day? That's a Darkest Dungeon joke. Alright. Should have swapped to a new screen. Um, music's gone. Okay, we should be at lower latency too, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping that means... Did it actually swap the screen? Of course, there's going to be, like, problems the second time I try stream streaming in a month. Is it just doing that because my playback is, like, farther back? It should just be Iratus, Lord of the Necromancer in the top right, Happy Halloween in the top left. I can open a little thing here. Well, um, apparently, if you log in between October 29th and November 2nd, you can get all the Halloween costumes. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, there's another game they're trying to <laughs> trying to hawk at us over here in the bottom left. All right, good, good, we're all good, excellent. In that case, let's go ahead and get started. 
I went and wiped all my saves. I don't think there's actually a way to play without the DLC once you've bought it. Which I don't know why you'd want to, but sometimes you'd want to. From what I've heard, they have made a lot of interesting changes to it. Um, like, there's now multiple bosses, so you could end up encountering new bosses throughout each of the levels. There's a whole new level to explore. There's, um... There's a whole new mechanic in the game. I can't remember what it's called now. I think it's potions. But we can we can look forward to that as well. See how that's going to work out for us. Either way, things are going to change. Things are going to be fun. And, uh... Frigate, we'll try good always wins. I haven't actually, uh... I haven't actually played it very much on that difficulty. But, I mean... Yeah, let's just, let's just take all the fun out of it by playing on the harder difficulty level. Oh no, I can't save. Big whoop. Worst case scenario, we die and we just go back down to no pain mode. Alright. Let's do this. What do they start me off with? Four of everything up here, which is fine. Three flask, that's new. Digger souls is not new. Mana's not new. It's been a while, Iratus. How you doing? Potion making. Eh, hey, this is new. Aratus can find can use the parts he finds to brew various potions. By combining various parts, you'll discover recipes that can be used in battle. By using potions, you can enhance one or all minions, weaken enemies, or gain resources. And then there are uncommon rare legendary parts can be used to increase the quality of the potion. Sweet! I assume you have to use a flask, and then you just throw stuff in it. Ooh. So it's an experiment until you unlock a recipe, I assume. Nifty. Very nift. I mean, I don't think... I don't know if we should be wasting body parts this early. But very cool nonetheless. We got ourselves a dork knight. Ooh. Nice. A little bit of a different uh, skin. Different sword, too. Ah, that's the classic premium one. That one? Ah, I can't remember why we, where this one came from. Alright. Very nice. This must be the Halloween one, then. Because I know I've had this one before. I just can't remember where I got that one. So this would be our new Halloween bay. Did I call it a bay? I did. Um, let's see. Zombie. Speaking of bays. Oh, yeah. Scarecrow zombie. Pretty nice. And then premium zombie. And then, oh! No. I, oh, I think this one may have come from the DLC itself. Or something. I cannot remember where this one came from. Either way, it looks cool. Kind of want to like. I kind of want the goat zombie. What about our skelly boys? Our old favorites. Of course, a pumpkin. Nice scythe over here, though. I like this. Digging the scythe. Oh, I love the axe. The axe is looking great. And then the bride. Okay, very cool. She's dressed up as, well, I was going to say just a skeleton, but really, uh, kind of a voodoo skeleton? And, ooh, this one's pretty nice, too. I like that. Alright. Too early for the bony bullies? Yeah, it is. Way too early for them. Alright, good stuff. Upgrade, wait, upgrade with 20 diggers souls? You can straight upgrade the body parts now? What? That's new to me. Oh man, I did not know that. Experience has its own icon up here now, so that's pretty good. I assume all their abilities are and skills are probably the same. I've been... The little bit of look I've been doing to... Changes to the game have basically shown me that uh, they haven't made too many uh, changes to the actual creature balance. Alright. Let's see. Bony Bully, I, it is pretty darn strong. Let's go ahead and put in a weapon, an armor, and a heart. Something is wrong. Oh no. Well, apparently I can't use these. Um, what, well, what about... What about three weapons? Something is wrong. Hmm. Right, no weapons. Heart and flesh. Something's wrong, guys. I don't know what it is. 
All right. Here we go. I guess we need to. Hmm. Or Reaper Squad. Sounds strong. Let's see. Oh, can I not afford to build anything right away? Ah, uh, it must be a higher difficulty thing. I hate it! Alright. Yes, new creatures. There's the new Reaper. Capable of destroying both body and soul with their necromantic scythes. They are the preferred shock troop of many a power-hungry necromancer. Even before Iratus took the stage. Despite this, the nature of their ability to channel destruction back to their masters ugh, is still poorly mis poorly understood. <laughs> I suppose said po poorly misunderstood. Since the curse they carry seems to predate the dark arts themselves. The best that Iratus was able to discover is that it's something primal, inherent to the in the world that does not and might not ever have a name. But while their true origin might be an enigma, their purpose is anything but to wage war on the living. Yeah, we're gonna take a reaper. Time. Don't know what position he's best in, so we'll just uh, leave him as is for now. And then we got the Abominomicon over here. The Abomination. Big bloaty boy. I already love him. War is an eternal mover of progress, especially in the realms of the Necromantic. Although Iratus had only recently re-emerged onto the stage, he did not waste any time delving back into his favorite hobby, the creation of minions, both dread and vile. In his malefic pursuits, the Arc Necromancer stumbled upon something he did not expect. The power... Of a new curse the curse of flesh fused into the bodies of those wretched miners by the alchemist and strengthened through sorcerous experiments their flesh turned out to be infused with so much lingering pain it took some study but finally the results are at hand the grotesque and putrescent great word abomination the undead flesh forced to grow and deform over and over until it becomes a grisly engine of war. You didn't miss much, Iron Chef Bear. We are unlocking our new troops now. We are starting on Good Always Wins. And uh, that's about all that's worth pointing out this early on. I'm drinking a pumpkin cider. That's interesting to you. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Woo! You should be able to kill plenty before you rot away. Look at this big lad! What a chonky boy! I feel like we have a team of like... Oh, <laughs> of pretty large creatures. Maybe we should just pair them with other large creatures. Like Bone Zones! Mm, they do love me a Bone Zone. I just wanted an excuse to create him. There's a really a big excuse. Uh, let's see. Is there any... What's the next biggest minion? I guess it would be the zombie, wouldn't it? Hi, Aratus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, get, nah, the Black Widow's pretty large. Alright, let's do it. Ooh. Pumpkin cider's pretty, pretty tasty. The spices are really working in its favor. Alright. Now we have to worry about positioning. And also, I want to see if the Black Widow has any new costumes. Ooh, that's new. Ooh. Hairy feet. The hairy feet are more pronounced with the little armor shins. Shins? Are those shins? I don't know. But you can really see your hairy feet a little bit better. Okay. Reaper. Gold Reaper. Slightly different Reaper. A little bit more helmets kind of conquistador-like. Alright. Bone Golem. Ooh. I like that! That's pretty nice. All right, thick man. Let's see what our Abominomicon got. He's got plates. Beautiful. Ooh. I guess that really... That's more Abominomicon, I gotta say. Loving him. I like this. I like this a lot. Yes, we are going the thick boys route. I'm very interested to see how this works out for us. Noxus, I don't... I don't know if it's worth buying either, to be honest. I'm just starting out with it. Maybe we can find out together. First, let's find out what positioning these lads and lasses work best in. So the Abomination, first of all, special ability, or special feature, 
After each action, evokes a feeling of terror, dealing stress damage, very little, to all enemies. He stresses enemies after every move. That sounds kind of awesome. All right, let's 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 see how this works out. Uh, slice! first From first two rows, hits first two. Well, hits one of the first two. With, for 35 damage. Three times! Nifty. Hunger! Receives an attack buff until the end of combat. Okay, so not starting him in the first position so we can start with hunger. Sounds like a very uh, cromulent move. Intimidating roar. A debuff. Enemies on the chosen position and the next position in line switch to random positions. Okay, so... Just double shuffle. Gotcha. Let's see here. Battle thumping. Interesting phrase, but all right. Could have called it like shockwave or, you know, uh, aftershock, maybe? Intimidates all enemies and inspires allies for two turns. All enemies lose initiative, evasion, and accuracy. All allies receive it. That seems like a pretty strong buff. It doesn't stack, but still, uh, it ignores wards as well. That seems kind of strong. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Uh, shield. Marks an ally. Redirects all targeted attacks from the ally to the abomination. He's a man-at-arms. Nice. Also deals damage to anyone who attacks him. He's a man-at-arms that has his, his, his protection and his slapback moved into one. That's nice. I, I like that. I'm going to have fun with this guy, probably. Break and Swallow. Kinky. Instantly just whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, it deals stress damage. Instantly destroys an enemy that has less than 20% of sad sanity words remaining after receiving damage after receiving damage from this ability. Holy crap! He then receives a buff restoring 10% health until the end of combat. Bosses are and in inedible enemies are immune, but duh. That's insane. That seems really good. He seems really good. He has a ton of health. Tools can be made Starts with a block and a ward. Deadlier. Not much initiative, but that doesn't surprise me. No evasion, no luck. Decent starting accuracy, to be honest. And a ton of health. All right, I think he's best in the second position, to be honest. What do we name this big lad? I mean, I could just go with the name I'd already... Abominomic... On. I mean, I think that really fits with his current look. <laughs> Big boy Bombonomicon. I can't wait to see what I can upgrade him into. All right. Yeah, think of some interesting names or you want to be a particular class. Let me know in the chat, because I might be able to make it happen. Bone Zone, I know you're actually best from the first two positions, although you could be really defensive in the third. Yeah, you just give people blocks, which is pretty strong. Plus, he could he can still use uh, an engine to heal himself. But he's obviously best in the first two positions. So I feel like... Yeah, I feel like he should go in the first. Oop, no, no, no. I don't want to change his look. He looks great. Bone Zone's ready to go. Black Widow could actually work well in the third position. Can't use the spit or the pull. But can still use Spider Strike, which is a good debuff. Can't use the cocoon from there, though. Hmm. This isn't looking so amazing. Reaper. Dissection. Can be used anywhere. Moves himself forward. That's pretty good. Deals good damage, too. Spectral Wave. Hits everyone for a decent amount of magic damage. So he's all offensive, it looks like. Agony. From the back. Ignites the target for three turns. Dealing decent damage. And curses them? What? Drain. Removes all buffs from the target. Interrupts stances. He don't miss. Wow. Wow. Uh, reap power. Give spell power. Big freaking whoop. And Scythe of Death. For each 1% of vigor and sanity the target is missing, inflict physical damage. Maximum damage is equal to 400%. 80 to 112. Pretty good hit. Pretty strong hit. Hmm. Let's see. We will probably have a ghoul eventually. All right. Basilla, I'm fine with anything, honestly, as long as it looks feminine. So, spider it is, right? You want to be the spider. From the rest of the conversation you've had, it sounds like you want to be spider. 
right, I like this team. Let's see how they do in battle. I think the Reaper can actually work well in the back. Because Dissection moves him up. Spectral Wave, when he's moved up, could be good. But Agony seems really nice for damage over time. Bone Zone, of course, works right here. He can give away blocks. Uh, you are best in the first two positions. Although, you can move yourself up, too. If things get bad. Honestly, I'm double thinking it now. I think Abominomicon, he can't use Slice from the front. Or from the third position, but he can use Hunger to move himself up. He can use Intimidating Roar. He can Battle Thump. He cannot shield, which is a big deal. Alright. Hi, Bronislav. How's it going? Alright, and eventually we'll have Liches too, I'm sure. I think we're going to go with this order. Uh, the kingdom had need of the vast riches beneath the castle, so and the dwarves didn't want to actually do mining, but they built mining equipment. So they got slaves to do the mining. Cool. Uh, there's also a cemetery area available now. We'll see how that works out for us. But let's test out these new classes. Let's freaking go. Oh, did I look at the Reaper's special ability or special feature? No. Holy crap, he's huge, by the way. When killing an enemy, the Reaper restores 10% health to itself and all minions. What the frick? Dude, these guys are strong as hell. At least it seems like it. Let's go ahead and throw down some double curses. Uh, let's see if we can get the conscript first. All right, he's cursed. He's ignited. We're feeling good. Spider strike, please. Let's go. Let's go ahead and keep his evasion down because conscript starts with a good chunk of evasion. I would like that to be gone. Yeah, we got the speed at 1.5. By the way, oh good, we crit right away. That's right, these bastards have 50% luck at this level, which is pretty darn high. Take down their evasion and accuracy and all that good stuff. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's go with the shield. Let's get some slap back. <laughs> he just giggles a bit. I love it. Alright, that will stop. Let's go ahead and go with the spiders. Hey, that worked out well. Now... Can we stack Agony? Yes, we can. Nice try. Frick. Okay, so now that we're shielding, how long does the shield last? Does it only last until one move? It probably does. Yeah. That's okay. I want to... There it is. There's the hit. There's a the slap back. Spikes, baby! Spikes! Pocket spiders are pretty good. What are my PC specs? I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I know I got it from... Wow, now my brain is completely gone. Origin PC, that's what I got it from. Uh, but I don't remember the exact specs, because I had to spend money on it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead, actually, and start off with throwing bone armor down. There we go. I love the spikes. The spikes are good. Spikes make me feel good on the inside. Hi, Eldenari. How's it going? So I can see the damage this will do, right? Is there a way to see? I, there isn't really, huh? I can only guess. But they're not missing that much health or anything, so I guess it doesn't matter. Because it's not going to be good. You have the spider bite. So let's just keep going with Agony. This Agony strat seems to be working pretty well. Good spike. Now! Claw him. Yes! Oh, God! With the tentacles! Okay, I think I need to go back to regular speed for a minute, because I want to see these attacks the way they were meant to be. Okay, regular speed. Now, nah, I got to see the tentacle attack. Uh, please don't self-destruct. Oh, bone armor, please. Beautiful. You know what? Let's go for the kill. See how this works. Boom! Then you move up. But, because you got a kill, you heal everybody. Oh my god, that's so amazing. That seems really ridiculous. Hey, Sai! Welcome to the party! I love this big... Big pile of gas. He's amazing. Let's go ahead and battle bump. Well, a little bit of buffs for us. A little bit of debuffs for them. 
They know how it is. Heal yourself. All right. Uh, ooh, we can spectral wave. Let's see it. My horse says hi. <laughs> Dude, the crits. So I assume you would want to be a skelly boy. All right. I love this team. I love these so new characters. They seem really broken. Mine. Hey, a flask. Nice. Question is, how do we get... How in the world do we get uh, enough... Enough items? Oh, I have to... Yeah, I'll sacrifice a dark knight for this. Give me the library. It's more experience than we kind of need it. It's akin to trying to quell hunger with breadcrumbs. All right. I, for, I almost forgot about this area. We can give everyone more attack. Restore mana. No, no, no. More digger souls would probably be useful. I don't think we need magic this early. Like, direct magic. So I'm thinking we get upgrades... Yeah, give me the architecture buff. Their More souls at the end of battle. Should have gotten that last time, but I didn't. Because I'm a doofy, I guess. Alright. It's okay, we can afford to replace the Dork Knight. Inspiring leader, but irreverent for the armies of undead. It's inspiring enough. Alright. I actually really like some of these. Uh, There you go. I think he's looking good. I think he's looking pro quite swooed. Okay. Well, you know what, Vasilla? We got this bride here in the back. You can go ahead and get in here. I find it really interesting that you can now spend Digger Souls to upgrade parts. That sounds like it's going to be nuts. Okay. How do I... Something is wrong. Aha! Aha! Blood, heart, dust. It might get something useful. Let's go. With knowledge and will comes victory. Potion of Fallen Warriors. All enemies lose five attack for two turns. Cool. Okay. And if I click this, it'll try to put them all... Yeah, yep, that's good, that's good. Uh, no, we're going to experiment some more. We have some rags available. We have a lot of skulls. And, you know, we have a lot of blood. Nope, something is wrong. What about armor? Ah-ha-ha-ha! Ho-ho-ho-ho! Ho, ho, ho. Let's see it. With knowledge and will comes victory. Target minion receives 15% less damage until the battle ends. Nice. Okay. Okay. Interesting. We're learning. I forgot to look at my... Oh, I didn't get a starting artifact. Probably because I started on Good Always Wins. Okay. That's all well and fine, I guess. Where's the, um... Oh, potion making is the cauldron. That makes sense. Cultist. Alright. Random consumables or minion-specific items or items. Okay. Well, I want to go with items because I want to get to this chest. Anytime there's an amazing chest ahead, I want to go for it. Okay. If there are triple same thing recipes, I imagine. Wouldn't surprise me. Alright, well. Sai, happy Halloween. You're a pumpkin now. Hope you're okay with that. Alright. Hey, Bernardo. Welcome to the live game. How's it going? All right, let's send Team 2 over to this ancient coffin, see how we're doing. What do we get? Oh, the ashes! Sets enemies on fire for two turns when minion... You two turns? Is that a debuff? It might be. Um, doesn't matter, though. It's still strong as hell. Mutant Claw is okay. Oh, and the mandibles, too? Oh, these are both good. This reduces vigor and sanity. This just does damage. But it does a lot of damage. Oh boy. 
Hey, Sonic Chat, this is uh, DLC Wrath of the Necromancer. Ashes of the Burn of Witch, Spider Mandibles. You know, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the Ashes. Because they make the Infested so strong. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna hate this fight. We're gonna try it anyway. Come on, Team One! The usual suspect. Standard skeleton stand steady and seeking to serve. Ow. I'm gonna hate this fight. These guys have so much evasion. Uh, Dark Knight. Tip to have you start with. Hey, wait, where's the potions? Oh, neat. All right, yeah, you can just toss them out there. I like it. Mm, they don't have very many buffs on their side. So I think let's go ahead and start with a little bit of stress. Go ahead and stress the miner. All right. Sai could show them their place. It could interrupt the stance, which is probably a good move, because I don't want to take 27 to 35 damage. If I can help it. Good good fashion. I almost called it a stab. All right, Vasilla, let's see how we're starting. Let's see. Whenever enemy moves, deal damage. Eh, extra damage and dread sounds like a good idea. This already does 23 to 28 damage, though, which is a good chunk. On him. I think mean, that's a good start. Hey, Blank Gaming, how's it going? Ooh, you can volley still. And you could hit third row. Or we can go for more powder. Yeah, let's try to get rid of at least... Damn it. One of them before we start going with more powder. And of course he stances up. Of course he misses. Wait, that's a good thing. Uh, Okay. Unassuming strike. Is this some slaps? Smite sounds pretty good, though. Fortitude does not seem that useful. Smite. Oh, no. Oh, it was a little bit of damage. That all you got. Sorry, you didn't even kill him. Good slap. Good slap. We're not going to be able to avoid his um, big hit, though. So we might be in a... Oh, never mind. We get Abyssal Hunger. This should kill him. Become part of the breathless Delicious. Tide. One by one. Alright. Well, Void is fed. Time to volley. And Dork Knight. This is a slap. Really like this design of him. Well, that didn't hurt too much. Alright, Vasilla. Give you a crit. Eh, you tried. Okay. Double slap will it probably guarantee the kill, I was going to say, from Sai. There's a little bit of... I mean, I'm, I, I know where you guys are going. Uh, there's obviously Darkest Dungeon influence here. Oh, wait. Your blocks don't mean anything to magic attacks. Um, there's obviously Darkest Dungeon influence here. Nice! He's insane. Except we're playing as the bad guys. And the, uh, the traversing around the map is more Slay the Spire than Darkest Dungeon. The start of... Ooh, all remaining strength. Okay, he gets two moves per turn, but uh, he loses a lot of health at the start of each turn. So you know what? This will be a good time. Wait, Mark's a minion. This, this changed. Has a 100% chance to redirect any attack that targets the Mark minion to himself. Oh, so the skeleton has a block now, too? Neat! That's new! Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Go ahead and actually build up my wrath a little bit. Okay. Ow. That crit didn't help. Helps his sanity a little bit, which is not what we want. Hey, there you go. I splat heads. Having a good time with it. Go ahead and get rid of these blocks, and then someone else can get the kill. And that's someone. Basilla. Well done. Mine Took some damage. Imprisoned souls. After a victory, Iratus recovers 40 mana for each enemy that ran away. That's not that great. Probably want to just convert that to experience. Speaking of experience, got a little bit of extra. Got an extra talent. Point. We're eventually going to have to get Amateur Surgeon. Better chance to receive on um, some good parts. 
but it leads to some really good things down the line. Like faster wrath generation. All minions gain extra health. Mm. I think I'm going to give everyone extra attack. I like those passives. Uh, yeah, I... I don't really plan on making... I guess we could build a stress team. See how that works out. This team's going to need to heal a bit. We do have one spot in the mortuary, so we'll send Sai in there. Do we have any parts? Enough parts to build another team? Not really. Okay. Does anyone... Oh, the Abomination has a triple strike! Along with the ashes. Oh, he could make so such good use of this. You have a monk on this game? No, there isn't really an undead monk. To my knowledge. I could be wrong. I don't think any of them fit. I'll probably regret this. But it seems like a really fun idea to have him triple slap and then set enemies on fire. Alright, Team 2. We're going to move over to this amazing chest ahead. What do you got for old Iratus? War drums. All minions receive three initiative for the first two rounds. Eh. Increases the chance to receive uncommon or better parts. Eh. 16 spell. Ah, none of these are that useful. I guess we get the rags. Use this. All right. There you go, Iratus. You now have rags. Also, disintegrate this thing for 400 experience. Nice. That was worth three talent points. Hell yeah. Increases the chance to receive artifacts at the end of battle by 20%. Yes. Transformation and then this one. Becomes free. Okay. We're building up rewards, basically, by going down that talent tree. Okay. Team 2. The big lads. Let's go ahead and run into another battle. Alright. Well, the Taskmaster is mastering task, of course. What is that again? Extra accuracy? Which actually sucks, because the... The Hunky's got 50% luck, which is a really good chance to land stuns. The guard I'm not too afraid of. In fact, we could probably just throw Agony down and eventually get rid of the guard through stress and damage over time. Ooh! But the Reaper can drain buffs! I'll take that, thank you. Hehehehe. <laughs> Okay, Black Widow. Let's turn that buff into a debuff by lowering his luck. Beautiful. Nice try. This is just a little bit of damage. Woo! We're doing good. Okay. Let's see if we can get a triple slice on this guy. I want to see this full animation. Because I was sped up before, and I'm pretty sure there's tentacles involved. There is! Armor absorb, absorb most of that. But he has three stacks of Ashes of a Burned Witch on him. There's going to be a lot of damage stolen. Uh, Splintering March. 25% chance to stun, and plus it gets rid of his blocks, even though it won't stun him. You know, let's go for it. We lose a little bit of health, but he can regain his own health. Two crits! No stun, but two crits is pretty damn good. Yeah, you take that 45 damage. Crap. He's in slapback mode. Uh, okay, well, I mean... No, you cannot have that buff. This is the rule. The rule is you get no buffs. You can have all the debuffs, though. Nice try. You suck. The Abominavicon laughs at you. Enjoy tentacles. We have seen this anime. This guy invented this anime. Heal up, please. One by one, life vanishes from this Ow. World. That was a good double slap. Alright, he's not burning anymore, which sucks. And, oh no, there is still a buff to uh, get rid of. It's gone. Ah! Uh, can this get the kill? 13 to 17 damage. But he has 14 armor, so we can't really do damage to him with that. Ugh, no, the chance is, like, too low. Let's go for the spiders and see maybe that does it. Or the spiders can hit the Taskmaster. That works, too. So, the Slice wouldn't actually do any damage to him because the armor would absorb it all. Oh, you know what? Let's throw up a shield. I spiky now! Alright. 
Ow. Oh, he only gets to hit back twice. Hit back once. I guess that makes some sense. Uh, give him armor while he's protecting you, please. Oh yeah, the uh, the role of the bounty hunter from Darkest Dungeon in this game is definitely fulfilled by the headless. Ashes of the Burn Witch procs off of the slapback. I love this guy, man. All right, we finally decided to do something other than. You're dead. No! Oh no, the slap. Oh, he didn't slap back. Finally decided to do something other than steal a buff. Burn, baby, burn! Burn more! All the burning! Four stacks. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Heal, please. In fact, we need the Reaper to get a kill or two. Excuse you! You jerk! I hate getting my hands dirty. Bastard. All right, let's try the Scythe of Death. Boom! 115 damage. Hell yes. Love it. Love it quite a bit. Spiders! I bet you hate it! <laughs> the Bombanomicon laughs at you. Let's see what hunger looks like. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Ow. Oh crap, he's gonna move himself up and take damage too. Ah, oh, no! He actually did heal more. Alright, he's trying to run away. Reaper, get the kill. Yes, this should be enough damage. Just for that healing. A sad display for mortal kind. Ooh, a nice smoke bomb. All enemies lose 20 accuracy until the battle ends. One time use. Good item. Alright, you don't like that scythe attack? It feels underwhelming. I can see what you mean. Like, pure graphics-wise, yeah, it seems like it could have a little bit more oomph behind it. Level ups, baby. Obviously, uh, no badges yet until a few more, but... Stats! Gotta love them stats! Except to give Bone Zone some armor. Because he's really here just to be defensive. So, I'm gonna do just that. Abominomicon, what do you give... To the big fat creature who has everything. You give him more attack? Uh, you can apparently give him wards and uh, blocks eventually. You give him evasion eventually, which seems a little nuts. You give eight points? Or eight upgrades? Dang. Hmm. Luck, accuracy, I don't know, man. I think... I think Bominomicon... Oh, you know what? If I up his um, dread, his passive dread will go up. Or his passive uh, terror will go up, too. But no, let's give him attack. And dread. What the hell? <laughs> Black Widow? I feel like you get the most out of... Well, we're not using you defensively. So you actually get most out of raw attack power. Because that's what we're mostly using as a spider pack. So we're going to build you for attack. Primarily. And then speed. Reaper. God, you can literally build up any of his stats. And they're all pretty darn good. I kind of like the idea of building him for damage, too. Kill the enemies! That's the goal, right? You can afford another building now. Ten Wrath at the beginning of battle. Uh, each minion in here restores mana after battles. Arena for experience. 40% chance for each minion to excavate a part. Eh. Extra souls. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It sounds like souls are going to be extremely helpful. So I think I'm going to go ahead and create us a wraith. The path is signed. Let's hope there was no fine print. <laughs> Love it. What, what else would, would his Halloween costume be? That's amazing. Ooh, that one's interesting. Neat. However, it doesn't matter what you're going to be looking like, because you're going into the obelisk, big boy. The obelisk is overflowing with souls. My continued campaign certainly provides it with no... That was a great skin. Just throw a sheet on him. All right, free experience for Team 1. Let's get him in here. 
Yeah, no, we're giving it to the uh, the minions. They could use level ups. All right, Dark Knight. I mean, obviously, we just build up your resistances and your armor. Zombies a little tougher. You could build them so many different ways. I think he needs accuracy, though. His starting accuracy is kind of trash. Sai! Oh, he... I, I love the fact that he can actually guard people now. That's really cool. When upgraded, he can stress back. Or he just gains more armor. Hmm. You could build a skeleton for dread, I think. Which seems wild and wacky, but I like it too. I feel like I should give him some accuracy to start with, though. And then maybe some health. Okay. That's pretty good. Y yes, you are the Pumpkin King. Very well noticed, Jack. Alright. Two Miners and two Taskmasters. This should be good. All right, let's freaking get this slaughter on. I hate you. Anyway, thankfully the uh, Dark Knight can get his health back, so I'm not too worried. Hmm. This armor in the front does worry me. But we could start by just taking out the back rows. But all the damage is in the front. What do we have as far as movement abilities? Not too much. The Bash could move someone back, but not if it's getting blocked. So you know what? Just buff yourself up. Think of Iratus, Priscilla. Sai! Let's go ahead and embrace Mediocrity on the Dark Knight. Makes him stronger, also makes it more likely that he takes, yeah, less damage, just like that. This is exactly what we need. Has anyone taken the zombie? Not to my knowledge, Chef Bear. Is that you offering? Start with Buckshot, because that will start reducing this armor and it should still hit the Taskmaster. A little bit of all aroundness. Alright, let's let's actually just go straight for getting rid of these damn blocks. We need to go away. Plus we need to build wrath. Ugh, the extra accuracy. It does lower their sanity, of course, because turns out, weirdly enough, they don't like getting whipped. More armor and resistance for you. All right, now we start shooting the miners. Beautiful stuff. Ow. Oh, jeez. Ah. There you go. Yeah, go after, <laughs> go after the Dark Knight, please. Attack Batman, not Goatman. Okay. Now give him the suck. Thanks for the health, losers. Hey! You jerk! Alright. Well, this... This guy's... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! You might not have a chance to be zombie. Mm, dang it. So close. Well, we gotta go for the kill. Get him out of here. One more for the Good stuff. Fire. No! Oh god! He's down to two health! Use cannonball, it'll knock you backwards! No, it'll knock you into the trap, which will kill you! Frick! Oh god! Throw down this! This will hurt him over time. Yeah, we might not have a chance for this zombie. Hmm. Oh, we're in trouble here. Go ahead and try to give the zombie some armor. It won't help that much if they decide to attack him. Ah, the whips! Okay. We have Rose for a Lady available. That is a crit on everyone. Let's go for it. Kill, my darling. Kill. Yes! Hopeless! Minus luck, minus damage dealt, loses all blocks and wards, and armor and resistance. So you're saying there's a chance that he lives? I mean, maybe. It's gonna be a damn small one if there is. Good hit. Oh, he went after the Dark Knight. Okay, now we're saying there's a chance. 
Uh, go ahead and hit the Taskmasters. Keep them burning. That's a lot of damage over time. Fun smoke toy. Alright, let's go for the double hit on the Taskmaster in the... Hmm. Giving him armor is not going to do anything. He has way too little health. So, you know what? Go for the double hit here. He might actually... Nope, we don't have enough igniting damage. Well! <laughs> that sucks! That dream's dead. Dark Knight is up here, absorbing all the damage. Too bad he doesn't have a an actual block move. Go ahead and just crit him. All right. And your skin will look so fine, sewn upon me. Get this kill! All right, he's gonna burn out. Or he's just gonna die. Yes, I kill him. I want him gone. As your suffering ends, Ooh. your service begins. Bracers of Madness. Minions gain five initiative but lose 15 accuracy. Garbage. <laughs> Actual trash. Um, 15 accuracy is a lot. So, yeah, into the trash it goes. Turns into 400 experience. Gets us some more uh, points over here. What about alchemy? 50% chance of getting a brain, which is free experience. Kind of want it. Your formulae reveal their secrets. So I got a level up, but he's the only one. What the hell did he do that was so special? Anyway, he's got his first badge. So now we can make it so that unassuming strike becomes clumsy strike and never misses. Or sudden strike and ignores block. Or we can go for bony bully and get them stuns. You know what? Give me bony bully. I expect results. All right, and give him speed so that he goes as close to first as possible. All right. Do we have enough to make a new zombie? We do. So I can always... I can replace him. We don't have a brain for him, which is too bad, so he's stuck at level one. But, a hey. Yo, you want to be goat or you want to be strawman? Scarecrow, if, if you prefer. Oh, I thought, I thought I ran out of, uh... I thought I ran out of space. Okay. He back. He back for now. <laughs> Basilla? You also got a... Got some points to give out. We're obviously going to put your points into attack power. Uh, and then Sai, once again, you need to get healed. That seems to be, uh... Yeah, the goat's the closest you're going to get to a bear. Oh, I should have healed the Abominomicon last time. That's a new enemy in the second position. But items are good, too. Let's see what's up ahead first. Stealth for free experience. A fountain of restoration. A quest. Ooh, an elite. An elite squad. There's an elite squad this way, too, though. So I guess that doesn't matter. Plus, we can get to this chest. Yeah, I, I guess going straight up is the better path. So let's see what's in this coffin. Cough up some items. What do we got? Halo of Chaos. Start of each turn. The minion receives one random bonus until the end of the turn. Not that good. Crowpaw is that good. Deals stress damage. It's basically like the fire one. <sighs> That'd be so good on the uh, Bombonomicon. Second brain. At the start of each round, the minion receives extra attack and dread until the end of combat. Stacks up to five times. I mean, that's really cool. That could make someone extremely strong in longer battles. Can your necromancer create an illusionist? No, but someone with evasion? Yes, there are some evasion-based creatures. There's actually one evasion-based creature that doesn't have any attacks, and he's actually pretty damn strong. Unless he's been balanced. Anyway, Crowpaw. With the rest. All right. Abomus Namus Kamus. Enjoy your Crowus Paws. Pretty great. There are a couple of them that mess with enemies. Just not not in the strict illusionist type way, I don't think. Either way, we need more parts. And I don't think good always wins wants to give us a lot of parts. That's how it's looking right now. Plus, we used quite a few for potions, which we probably should not have done. But we did! So that's where we are. All right, Abominamus Kamas. Let's head forward. It's only three enemies, but it's three conscripts. 
And I hate them. Because they're dodgy. But good damage to start with. Okay, I would really love for uh, the Reaper to get some kills. So, I'm going to see what I can do to make that happen. Eh. It's not a kill. There goes our block. I'm probably going to be throwing more blocks on the Abominomicon. Hmm. Their accuracy is solid. Not amazing, but solid. Let's go ahead and actually start with a slice. Oh, baby! It stacked both of them. He's going to lose most of his sanity in, like, one turn. It's amazing. And I also want him to eat someone. I want to see that happen eventually. Uh, 45 health is not enough, so go ahead and just throw this out. There you go. That time it hit. Ow. Uh, just spite is on someone. Please! Oh, no. There's a strike. Oh, okay. Well, that one was fricked. Hmm. Wait, I can force him to switch positions. Will I get rid of the stance? Probably not, but I just realized I can get rid of their evasion. And ignite them and curse them because everything does ignites and curses. Because this game is nuts and I love it. Uh, oh, that's right. You can't throw defense on yourself, but you can heal yourself. Alright. Go ahead and throw this out. Okay, well, that's that's good. That actually gets us the kill. As long as it hits. There it is, and that gets us the heal. Beautiful. Ow. We'll live, but ow. Hey! Nobody said you were allowed to do that twice. Now, excuse me, I gotta heal myself. Alright, big guy, time to rub your belly. Bombanomicon Hungi! Reaper. Go ahead and hit him. Good damage. Good damage. Can't complain. Also good. How much does this do? 22 to 28 health. 20 just a little bit of 20% sanity, which is pretty darn low, and that's not enough to do it. Eh. We're not gonna get to eat him, which is disappointing. So instead, just go ahead and throw down your block. We either kill him with a slap back, or maybe he goes into a stance. Or he just burns. Or he goes insane. Well, that was a fruitful round, and I'm happy we've had it. Uh, he's panicking, which lowers his accuracy, but ups his evasion. Of course it ups his evasion. Of course he's got extra... You really wanted to die to that spike, huh? Oh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. Hex bomb. Throw stress on all enemies at the start of battle. Neat. Okay. Yeah, it does seem like all the shuffles are uh, automatic stance breakers. Should probably remember that. It's been a while since I played, though. Uh, Bombanomicon has his first badge. And we're going to just keep building him for attack, I think. And dread. Alright, so how can we upgrade his abilities? I'm looking forward to seeing this. I'm sorry, a uh, chance to stun on top of his damage? What? Cripple. Extra damage. Okay, I mean, I'm going with a chance to stun if I pick one of those. Hunger. Extra damage. Or extra attack power from unrestrained hunger or dread hunger. Increases his dread instead. I mean, that's not that exciting. Intimidating roar. Forces him to change positions? Wail. Lose two, lose eight attack for two turns. Interesting. Uh, and this one actually deals stress damage. That one seems a lot better. And battle thumping can become war march. Intimidates all enemies. It's just a bigger debuff. And let me guess, the other one is a bigger buff. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. Funeral march. Nice. Shield. I'm really excited. What does this turn into? Deflect. 5% chance to instantly kill the attacker, except for bosses which are immune. I mean, that's a very small chance. I'd rather just go with uh, Protect, which just gives more damage. And it gives himself health. I kind of like the idea of Dread Roar, though. 
gives him a very good stress move. But also a chance to stun on a regular ass attack? That's a little too nuts. Well, my minion. Black Widow, Spider Pack, can be set to ignore armor or can deal damage to two random enemies. I like the idea of making it set to ignore armor. The only other one worth checking right now is Spider Hat or Spider Strike, which can be turned into a uh, mental attack or it can be a bigger debuff. The rest of these aren't really usable in our current position. So I'm thinking we go with uh, ignoring armor. And then more damage. Okay. We're here. Size healed. He's ready to go. What would it... Oh, that's way too much uh, souls to upgrade. So we'll throw the Abominomicon in here for now. Let him heal up. Quest time! See what happens down here in the mines. Okay. As you progress upon your enemy toward your rightful dominance, you encounter an impressive mustering of resistance. A massive shuffling of feet, and your undead host comes across an even larger host of human slaves. A single dwarven taskmaster is at the head grinning with darkened teeth as he whips his thralls against you. For the first time in a long time, you realize that you are outnumbered. Hey, Silvermane, welcome to whatever this is and whatever we're doing. Alright, attack them no matter how bleak the odds. Retreat. Let the skeleton assassinate the dwarf. Skeletons are very good at playing undead. Sai, pretend to be a pumpkin. Oh, for my future kingdom. This situation calls for a subtle approach. Hidden behind your other minions, a skeleton pulls back in the direction you came from and lays on the ground, pretending to be dead. Then, just as the slaves charge, you order a retreat, and the dwarves, dwarf follows in order to lead his horde. To his surprise, the simple skeleton at his feet suddenly stirs and impales him through his chest. The other slaves panic, and without their master, scatter rapidly in every direction, making them easy pickings. Got ourselves shoddy armor. All minions are level 5 or lower, gain 25 health. That is actually useful for right this second but will eventually become trash finally this item finds its way into my capable hand which is fine for me all right Sai. congrats oh god two elite enemies oh boy this is gonna be rough probably let's do it like i'm not i don't know who the popular kids are this is this is all news to me. Oh Jesus, that's right, he moves enemies up. And when this damn demolition expert makes it to the front row, we're all gonna have a bad time. Let's actually wait for him to move up and then try giving him the bony bully. Oh yeah, but we get extra attacks for every buff he has on him. That could be useful. Alright, we do want to start getting rid of enemies, so go ahead and hit the conscript. This is gonna be trouble. Warning shot can move him back, of course. Slightly tempted to go for the regular attack for now, but he will move himself. You know what? Uh, wait till the end of the, of the turn. Yeah, there he is moving himself up. Because we still have a zombie to attack, and I kind of want the zombie to try to light this guy on fire. Do you feel the irony? Anyway, knock him back. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking the Dark Knight skin. Oh, okay, he's unlucky. Minus luck, accuracy, and evasion. Now for Bony Bully. Stun the bastard. Yeah! Ow! Ow again! All right, enjoy your stuns. Move him back, though. Because that damn Taskmaster can force him to move up still. Uh, give him... Actually, don't give him the suck. You have full health. You should save the suck until you don't have full health. So instead, give this one to Thwack. Defensive stance. Oh, of course, that moves him back, too. Frick. You know what? Cannonball. See you in the back row, bitch. There you go. Ow. Oh, yay, yay. Well, that worked. For now. Okay. Fall him three times. Beautiful. Four times. Five times. He had a lot of buffs on him. Yay. Sai still got it. 
Okay, Sinister Strike needs to go next. Uh, let's hit him all, though, with a crit. You will soon embrace your new existence. Okay, that eight damage did not do much for us, obviously. Let's do more powder. Charge up our attacks. Okay, Dork Knight, uh, can you get a kill? No. Nah, you're just short. Like, literally by one point, I think. Two points, but you don't do max damage. Ow. You jerk. Okay, go through a double hit. It's just a higher chance of the hit of getting the kill. Not being evaded is what I should probably say. Okay. You know what? We have magic attacks for you. Boom, baby. Oh my god, that damage was nuts. Flames of love. Keeping it real. Just like the training dummies. <laughs> okay, ready, aim, fire with your mortar. Now give him the suck. Mm, delicious health. What are you gonna do? You gonna whip? I mean, he's gonna whip, but I mean, you gonna whip us or them? Get out of here. Oh, right. That doesn't do much damage. Probably should have done the armor ignoring attack. But he's gonna die to fire anyway, so frig him. Burn, baby, burn! Boom, boom, bam, bam. Damn! <laughs> He's gonna die. You might as well set up again. All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, you want to see what's under the helmet? Neat, huh? Oh God, it killed him. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Broken sword. All all minions that are level five or lower gain six attack and dread in combat. Okay, we're getting a lot of low level items, just, which I guess are fine. Restores 15% of damage as health. Who has the most single target damage? That's who that should who should be getting that. Not the Dark Knight, but he does have a badge now. We could make his attack stronger. I don't like buffing up Hollow's there. You do more stress, basically. I do kind of like buffing up Dark Tide to get either more mana or wrath, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, no tomorrow. More stress. And, or make it so it works on debuffs, that's right. I think we're just gonna buff up our regular attack so that it gets more My advantage from armor. Are in for a nasty surprise. You know what, I'm actually gonna give you health, because the Dark Knight does not get a lot of health. Iron Chef there, hey, you made the level two! Congrats! Enjoy your... Extra accuracy, because I still think he needs it. Hmm. Yeah, I think Vasilla actually does have the most single target damage. Um, however, Sai being able to get... Sai is hard to help because he can't receive buffs. Or debuffs. But not debuffs is a good thing. I think we give it to him, because he takes a lot of damage. This is the third time I'm going to have to send him in for healing. So he could use it. Although Vasilla could use it as well, it's just not to the same degree. Vasilla has a badge, by the way. I just didn't give it out. More crit damage. Critical hits will stun. That seems fun. Um, flames of Love could make the initial attack stronger or the flames last longer. Overwatch ignores armor or gains evasion. Hmm. I do like Deadly Watch a little bit think of him. Either give a spell power or extra attack, and then ignores ward, or target can't move for two rounds. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tempted to get to go ahead and grab, get away from him, because that will make it ignore wards. Which is easy stress and knockbacks. I'm also tempted to get Deathly Watch, but this team isn't really built for that. There are teams that'll work out great for, but this isn't one of them. We don't have enough knockbacks on this team. She's actually the only one with reliable knockbacks. You know what? Actually, give me Lung Piercer. Might as well get a chance to, to, to get crit stuns. I will hold off on these points. Okay. Oh, Lord, we're almost at the... 
at the Elite Squad. This is going to be fun. Can't wait to see what this team can do against that. Uh, hey, a headless dude. Grab him. Headhunter. Does he have any neat skins? Regular. Premium. Ooh. Neat. He's like even more ethereal than ever. Alright. Really like the red one, though. I think that fits him a l like really well. We'll have to build a team around him eventually. Have to see what it's going to be. He's actually surprisingly flexible. He works in a lot of positions. All right. The elite squad. Oh, we got a stone. We got a miner. We got a... Uh, oh, no. We got a conscript. And we have the demolition expert. This is going to suck. Probably. Especially since... Do we have any... Mo Wait a minute. I, th I think we have... We have a pole, of course. The web can prevent movement, which will probably be what we'll have to end up using. Because... Oh, no! Intimidating Roar can force enemies to switch. So when the Demolition Expert gets moved to the front, we could consider using that to move him around. Okay. I think he could still work. I think this team could still work. Okay. First... Oh, spiders ignore armor, by the way, now. So, uh, that's gonna be good for this entire team. Does not ignore blocks, though. Well, we had some wards. That's good. Ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> okay. I feel like we have to start here. With the ignite and the curse. Hey, a miss. I love it. Hmm. Let's go ahead and actually just throw down the hunger right away, because this guy can't be stressed, but he can still be affected by the burn, I believe. No, he's not. He's immune to it. Actually, he looks like he's made out of lava, so I don't know why I would think that. Um, do I start with hunger? Or do I start with intimidate? Or do I start with debuffs? Actually, I think I start with debuffs, because this guy has 55 accuracy. If we can lower that... Yeah. We could lower that. Also, the burns and stuff work on everybody. That's like a pretty nice little bonus. Maim can hit any position. Destroy can hit the first three. You know, actually, just give me armor. Oh, I should have thrown the armor on the spider. Ah, crap. Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah his accuracy's not low enough yet. Uh, spider web. Boom, you're all stuck in place. Oh, it also moves her to the front. Uh, which is not as useful. Keep throwing those ignites on this demolition expert. Crap. Bone Zone's in trouble. Bone Zone's in a lot of trouble. Oh, Bone Zone's in all the trouble. Go ahead and use your hunger. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess you gotta heal yourself, dude. But it's only 10%. You know, wait till the end of the turn. Damn it, he could do a lot of damage with that move. Yeah, do it. Just do it. We either lose you now or we don't. Oh my gosh, he actually avoided the damage. That was lucky. Eh, eh, eh. You weren't going to hit either way, dude. I don't know what you were thinking. That fire is not doing enough damage to this demolition expert. I'll tell you what. I'm trying to throw down as many as we can. Dude, what the heck? Nobody can hit this abomination. I mean, he didn't lower their accuracy. I didn't... Crap. I didn't know he lowered it that much. Ooh, what was that? Weakness? Damage reduced? Well, there goes our bone zone. Alright. That sounds terrible. We do lose some defense here, but he wasn't much of an attacker, so this might this might work for us in the long run. God damn it, them tentacles. Oh, we got the stun, too! Well, that sucks. 
I guess we know how good the DLC characters are because they're the only ones that are going to survive this fight. Hide. Uh, yo. Damn it, I wish you had a double attack. Because I need you to get kills. Um, yeah, hit this guy. Oh, the redirect. Damn it. Damn it. The passive heal could have actually done a lot for us. Evolution looks like. All right, taking this guy out is going to be a little bit of an adventure, but that's okay. All right, what are you going to do, mister? Uh, oh, we might be able to get the kill here. Love them blocks. Okay. Get. Damn it! <laughs> you stone bastard. You know what? Redirect this. Of course the redirect doesn't work that time. The redirect didn't work. The random strike didn't work. It just didn't work. Your last. All right. Give me your hunger. Buff yourself up. You're going to have to hit really hard once it's time. Oh, man. These misses. Okay. You don't have anything that ignores armor, huh? Magic attack igno will ignore the armor. Remove all buffs. He doesn't have a buff. And there's no point in giving us spell power. So you know what? Force time. Hello, how you doing? Okay, yeah, this golem is supposed to be inaccurate. He's the only one he's been able to miss is Obamanomicon. Thank you for ignoring that friggin' armor. All right. Oh, well, that was great. I probably should have thought that through. We're fine though. No. Oh, God damn it! I did that wrong. Guard her in case you need to. But, uh, yeah, I did that wrong. I meant for the Reaper to move. Woo! Uh, okay, look. This won't do any damage. Okay. That's what I need. I need the Reaper to get the kill, okay? 26 to 34. Yes. Because I want the healing. It ain't much. A predictable outcome. But it's health. Level 4 brain. Nice. Alright. So I got some healing, of course. Okay. Hey, we can throw someone in here at level 4. Um, so I think we move these two up. And maybe we get another backliner for this team. Who would fit in here? A lich? A fro- an unfrozen? Well, well, let's think about it for a minute. The Reaper brings good damage and heals. The Abomina Abominomicon is just straight up amazing damage. And, um, he's a tank. Amazing damage thanks to, thanks to his items, but still. The Black Widow can do a lot more in the second position now. She's got a lot of utility. She's got a lot of debuffs. Uh, we don't really have enough to make this a stress team, so I don't think any of the primary stressors fit here. I like the idea of someone who can heal, but... A little late for the infected. I thought about him as well. But I don't think he'd fit, either. Blood Phantasm can heal. But only when he's getting hurt. The Vampire can heal herself, of course. The Shade... Has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He doesn't work... Well, no, he can Goon Claws from the back. Which is a pretty darn strong move. Oh, but it only does a maximum amount of damage now. 400%. Which is a lot. But still. Ugh. Not enough. Not enough compared to where it used to be. Lost Soul has a direct heal. But it does damage them the next turn. So, you know. Give and take. Bone armor, bone golem can heal himself. 
the Dampier has a lot of good moves. It actually works very well with the kind of items that the Abominomicon currently has. The Ghoul can heal herself. Hmm. The Banshee could be useful for the ability to shuffle enemies around. The Wraith could be useful for the opposite. You can stop enemies from moving, but you can also get a, uh, yeah, Wind of Oblivion. Which, will, which can move enemies around. Hmm. Lots of options here. Only the Lich know how to unlock the true can do a lot of damage. Toxic Cloud is also a really good stress move. He can kill someone for health. Which could work well. I mean, this could be... Hmm. I think I want to put a, a Lich on this team. And I think what my plan is now... The Black Widow doesn't provide enough to this team right now. So if the Black Widow gets close to death, the Lich sacrifices her. Heals everyone else, and then we can just reanimate skeletons and sacrifice them as necessary. I think that might work. Ooh. Well, that's a third one. All right. Huh. Skull shape is a lot different. It's a much squarer jaw on this one. Looks neat. Anyway, let's throw that level 4 brain in him. Boom. We can now get more health. Cruel Sacrifice immediately resets cooldowns on Irad's talents, making it possible to use them again this round. Why would you want that over the health? I have no idea. Oh, Cross of Cloud is really good. Enemy enemies in the cloud lose all armor and resistance. Shard Swarm can do a lot of damage to a random enemy. Shrapnel can do a lot of damage as well. Alright, Blank, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you had some fun. Okay. I think I'm going to go with Corrosive. Ooh, but more health, too. No, I'm going to go with Corrosive Cloud. Ah, really to just ruin armor and resistance. So great. Of my investment. Give him... We'll give him some extra health and some evasion, because let's just tend to die fast, I've noticed. Yo, a badge for the Reaper? I want to see what I can use this on. Okay, Dissection. Deals damage, moves him up. Hateful Dissection. Same amount of damage, but restores Wrath equal to half damage dealt. That's cool. Soul Dissection. Restores mana. Ooh, both of those seem nice. Spectral Wave. AoE that does damage. Can either do more damage... Or deal stress. Agony. Damage over time. Can either do more stress damage, or let me guess, more regular damage. Yep. Makes sense. Drain. Removes removes all buffs. Interrupt stances. Doesn't miss. Uh, expunge. Interrupt stances. Enemy becomes insane or inspired. That's That could be scary. Uh, desiccate. Removes block and ward. Holy crap, that's amazing. Creep power. Restores mana. Gives more spell power. Okay, I kind of want it. I'm between Desiccate, Hateful Dissection, and... That's probably it, actually. I mean, being able to remove Block and Ward is kind of nuts. Hmm. becomes less scary once you find the shackles of war. That's a good point. That's a good point, because that's the one that makes it so the enemies can't become inspired anymore. Hmm. We might never find it, but... We might. Kind of want to give more wrath, because that means more ultimates. Yeah, let's give more wrath. Hmm. Ignores block and ward. Oh, you're right. I, I missed that. My enemies are in for a nasty Yeah, I'm gonna get more wrath going on. 
and they give you more damage on him. Not necessarily dread, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save points for everyone else, I think. Okay. Sai, come on back. We missed you. Couple of talent points. Increases the chance to receive better parts. Seems good. Might be time to go into some magic, though. Twelve, actually, extra accuracy would be great. So we're, let's go ahead and grab a muck. This fury. Minion loses luck, gains attack, and dread until the end of battle. It's fine. Fine for some, at least. Alright, we'll save that other point for now. And I think... I kind of want to get some healing. Now, I have plenty of some of these, so... Maybe I'll sacrifice one extra heart. Behold my work. Little bit of healing going around. We'll go ahead and heal the spider. It's team one. It's your turn to go. Which way? We could sacrifice a minion for items, or we can go to the grave. You know what? We're going to build team three out of whatever we dig out of these graves. That's the decision now. Okay, what do we get this time? Another <laughs> headhunter? A uh, wraith? Or a spider... Spider girl. What do you guys think? Headhunter, wraith, or spider girl? Partially asking so I can see how long the delay is, too. Because <laughs> I put it on lower latency, so it should be less of a delay than last time. And there's a setting that makes it even lower. So I might go to that for the next stream. Wraith, wraith, wraith. Three for wraith. All right, lots of wraith. We want wraith. Yes, we do. We want wraith. How about you? All right. Okay. Welcome to the team, wraith. You level two. I like it. Let's go ahead and give you some initiative to make you a little bit faster. All right. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually put you in this. I'm going to name you Casper. Welcome to the team! Alright, looking forward to seeing what you do. Cold Grasp. Necrotic Wind. Ghostly Fire. Yeah, yeah, you, you're really good in some positions. You're not really that good in the back. You're actually better, like, one ahead. But we'll put you in the third position for now. We'll see what else we get. Alright. Yeah, I think we want to see a stress team. Which, honestly, we do have Sensum, which is a pretty strong stress attack from the Headhunter. But we're not quite there yet. Got an elite conscript, a miner. Ooh, our first mage. All right. Let's do it. Mind flayers are uh, coming eventually. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, gotta start with a bony bully on the elite hunky. I called him a conscript. I was wrong. What else is new? Okay. Give me that lung piercer. Let's see if we can get a second stun. No dice. All right. We gotta get rid of that guy soon, though. Mad Mage, of course, hits everybody. Because he's a dick. Ow. Oh, God! This is why I gave him the vampire fangs. Give him the suck. You can't hurt me forever. All right. Chef Bear, let's go for damage. See if we can get this demolition expert out of here. I'm worried about him. The Mad Mage is also a problem, but not as dangerous. And then let's triple hit this guy and see how much health we can get back. All right. Four health back. Hey, it's a start. Ow. At least he didn't crit. I mean, not like he can. Uh, he can't crit the Dark Knight. One of, her, one of his bigger advantages. Boom, baby. All right, I... I think this is a good time to crit and maybe get that demolition this expert out of here. So close. So close. Ow. Oof. Ugh. Too much damage on Sai. Also a surprising amount of damage on Vasilla, which is also a little worrisome. Go ahead and get ready for a quadruple. And then Sai, I guess you do get a chance to get some extra health out of this. You know, your unassuming strike actually does more damage itself. If the enemy doesn't have armor. 
if they have armor, then it's actually not the better move. No! Oh, that's that's a debuff and a knockback, which breaks the stance, which is a suck. All right, hit the hunky. Good damage. No kill though. All right, this team's looking a little little worried. <laughs> this never gets old. Okay, the suck was good. Uh, let's set up for it again. Try again with the big boom. Uh, double damage on the mage, please. A little bit of health back. Not much, but it's better than nothing, you know? Uh, burn the miner. Ooh, the crit! Is that enough to kill him? No! But this will be! No, wait, it won't. He's got the block. Damn it! The crit! Ah, oh, the crit burn! Don't kill Sai. Thank you. Although he's already in the back, so you can't move him back. It means no stance interrupt, which means we're safe for now. Woo! Alright. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> uh. Okay, get rid of him. Thank you. Alright. Mop up the gore. I hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. Each time a cast a spell, a random enemy takes 15 damage. Actually, that's not that bad. Okay, well. Oh, I forgot to equip the sword. It I could have had extra damage and threat on everyone. Features. Oh, I could have put this on here too. Cool, so I'm actually tempted now to unla unlock a uh, damaging spell. So I think I will. Uh, Cursed Doll, that's 25 magic damage. Flaming Skull, no, 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 Halo Teeth. A power from Halo Teeth. Time. Every time. It's one of my faves. All right. Into slot two you go. Sai and Vasilla, of course, always taking all the damage. Can we get another Wraith? We can, so you know what? Let's go ahead and Wraith me up, Amadeus. Open another spot, put Vasilla in. You both can heal up. Okay. And then it's Team 4's turn with their new Lichy friend, who I'm very excited to see. I kind of want to upgrade one of these. I, I just want to see how it works. Is it literally just click on this and it's an, suddenly an uncommon flesh? Yes! You could just straight up... You got an achievement for it, too. Live operation. Okay, that's cool. It's a way to use these souls after you've upgraded all the buildings you want to upgrade. And I I am all here for that. It basically converts them to skill points. Alright, what's in this chest? Infused Dagger. Allows you to cast Crush Bones. Deals a good amount of magic damage. Double damage of the... Hey, whoa! Shackles of War! Mm. Never mind. Fuck everything else. Shackles are here. Uh, <laughs> my Enemies cannot escape or become inspired. Well, I know what I'm leveling up on the Reaper next. He can literally just force all enemies to become insane. Yeah, boy. All right. I don't need spiked bracers anymore. I still might have to switch over to the rags. Yeah, I'm about to have some level fives, so. Convert that. That's another talent point. Oh, you know what? Uh, give me additional mana hey, back after each fight. I want to show you a little magic trick. All right, that was really lucky. Okay, team two, what do we got? Ugh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of them. Uh, we got a madman. We got a demolition expert. We got a miner. We got a hunky. Everyone except for the hunky is elite. He's just your bargain basement hunky. They couldn't find an elite one. Okay, so this is a whole new team. With a, hopefully a new strat. First of all, we're going to start with Bony Weather because that's how I do. This Doomsayer Sayer is a problem. While he's alive, allies will never escape and minus 40% chance to go insane. Um, start with you. Oh, no Bony Weather? All right. Not yet, at least. Okay. 
This is going to be a worrisome fight, I feel like. So, we now have Hateful Dissection, which gives us Wrath on each hit, which is going to be really nice. Ooh, that damage was sweet. That was a good amount of Wrath. Hey, 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 that worked out perfectly. All right, two of those were warded, thankfully. Oh, God, he shook his fist at you. When this character dies, the Doomsayer and his allies will restore sanity and vigor. Who cares? Like, especially right now, he doesn't... They don't... Yeah, who cares? Suck tentacle. Now die. Oh, look at all that vigor and health and insanity you got back. The Bombonomicon's laughing at you because you're dumbasses. All right. Uh, we're not going to sacrifice anyone yet, obviously. Command. Oh, that's right. The Lich can throw out shuffles as well. Ah, oh, Crossed Cloud can't be used from the back. I forgot about that. And that's the one we upgraded first. Uh, that's okay, though. I don't want to hurt all of my friends yet. So... That's some good damage. That's some good damage. Oh. All right, this is fine. Should we give him a wave? No, no, no. We got to kill this guy. Got to kill this guy. ASAP. Uh, let's stop enemies from moving. Enjoy. Right, now he's just gonna do that ruthlessly, which is perfect by me. Oh, jeez, that's some rough damage. Abominomicon, you wait till the end of the turn. Wait till after the Lich goes. The end is coming. That's gonna be damage to everyone. All right, command the Abominomicon to the front row. Abominomicon says hi, and then he says, "Fuck right off." Beautiful. Uh, worried about you. Ignores Ward. No longer worried about you. Stance that, you suck. I meant to say you sucker, but <laughs> he's just a suck now. Uh, give me the side of death. Beautiful. Oh, and he gets Wrath back from that, too. Ooh, that's good. That's real good. The end is coming. And so am I. Wait, what? Uh, you know what? Roar. Oh, that's what that looks like? <laughs> the intimidating roar comes from his gut? That's amazing. Um, this sucks, though, because we, we can't avoid that at this point. I guess make him stronger. Alright. Uh, this doesn't inherently interrupt stances, so... Yeah, we can't avoid it at this point. Well, in that case, might as well just throw spiders on someone. Okay. Ouch. The next step is bony weather, because that'll get rid of some blocks. He doesn't sing anymore. Why doesn't my boy sing about bony weather? Ow. Hey! Don't mark me. Every hit against the target is a critical hit. Not anymore! Hit me, you bitch. <laughs> I dare you. Of course he went after the one who was going to ward it. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, go ahead and get rid of hit blocks, too. There we go. Why doesn't Aratus sing anymore when I use that spell? This makes me very concerned. The amount of health you get back is... Yeah, it's a, it's a direct percentage. 10%, no matter what. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot that it actually gives you more blocks. Huh. Block that. Alright, well, uh... This is freaking... Yeah. My will is a tide that will wash away cool. pathetic civilization. Everyone's too depressed to sing. 2020 vibes, huh? Alright. Oh, got you two swapped. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Can get you two in there. Perfect. Yeah. Now we have just the right size. Um I don't like that fight. Um 
if I see you like that, it's like to complain all the time. Yeah, I know. I know. Pumpkin cider talking. Standard skeleton stand steady and seeking to serve. Conscripts and the other Ottoman. An elite one. Well, I hate the hell out of that. <laughs> all right. Well, crap a doodle. There it is. No sun up in the sky. Bony weather. Finally, Iratus has sang his anthem. Yo, we should give the Dark Knight some extra armor. Okay. Look, you, way over there. I don't have a way of getting rid of your anything. You know what? Let's keep going after one who's Frank. Uh, maybe we try shooting at him instead? Alright, well, we can't hit the stun guy, so we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble throughout this entire fight. Help me. There you go. Hey, you got five health back. Hey. She didn't get a chance to sacrifice. Stop! Please! I would like my characters to be able to attack. Sometime this century. Good lord. Suck Bear's Ball. Well, I mean, it wasn't enough. There's a sacrifice. Yep. It actually reduces wrath. I forgot about that. Gives a block and award. Increases damage dealt by 50%. No but sun up also the cancels sky. a buff. In well, that kind of sucked. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm in danger. <laughs> I I am in danger. Uh, good hit. I guess all you can do, Iron Chef Bear, is get ready. Yeah, actually, the uh, unassuming strike will do more damage. There we go, which means more healing back. Usually gets about four health back. No! Oh, God. You bitch! You genuine bitch! I knew it! God dang it. Oh, wait, that's... She has wards. That wasn't gonna do anything, that... Oh well. It's alright, we can bring Vasilla back. Sai, please. Oh, give him the suck. I might you might as well go for the setup here. Okay, now get the kill, please. Thank you. Alright, this is... this fight's over. Now we're just waiting for the inevitable. Which is apparently coming from Chef Bear. Nice crit kill! I appreciate that! This zombie skin is amazing. Okay. Well. We don't have a brain for you, I'm sorry to say. But we can bring you back nonetheless. All right. We'll probably find one. Probably. Chef Bear got his first badge. I really like giving it to Igniting Mixture for more damage over time. Whistling Buckshot can also do extra dam or good damage, and it can hit everybody. You can make the Volley ignore wards. More Powder is really good when you can give it uh, extra blocks, give him extra blocks and wards. Hmm. Yeah, give me them blocks and wards. It basically allows him to build up damage over time. Usually. <laughs> when I don't goof it up. More armor for the Dark Knight. Sai. I don't know how you're still alive, but we'll give you a little bit of armor to play with. Okay. 
Well, I'm sorry that I didn't come with extra brain. The formulae reveal right. their secrets. I feel like I should keep... Well, no, 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 no. They're not going out immediately, so let's not worry about it. There you go. That'll heal everyone who needs to be healed. Cultist! Ooh, minion-specific items! If we take this team, we should see a minion-specific item for at least one of the two. Black Widow. Venom Spikes. Black Widow's attacks, except for the counter damage by Spiky Cocoon, also increase the Spider Venom effect by one. Hourglass of Doom for the Reaper. Each time Iratus uses an active talent, the Reaper increases Iratus' spell power by 12 until the end of the battle. Stacks up to five times. That's cool. That's kind of cool. We really want to play the casting game. That's a nice one. Burning Skull for the Lich. Reduces the damage that the Lich deals to its own allies by 65%. I mean, if we up the right ability, that's pretty good. Pound of Flesh for the Abomination. At a start of combat, Abomination receives one charge of Break and Swallow. Kinky. Um, I think the Venom Spikes are probably the best one here. Although I really kind of I want to get this Hourglass. Because I'm going to be casting spells. You know what? Let's go for it. Yeah. I'm going to be casting spells either way. Okay, now we have a choice of where to go. Ancient Coffin. It's a chest. Both ways lead to a chest. Ooh, we can get another minion-specific item this way, though. There's this way. Ooh, there's a new boss of the area. Can't wait to see what she has in store. I kind of want to head towards the grave so I can get my third team member over here. Although, I'm getting to the point where I should probably just consider building them. Obviously. Yeah, I think I'm going to just avoid that. Let's head towards this way. Because, one, I like the fact that we can get... Uh, either, we either direction gets us an item. So that's fine. But then we can head to the chest. Then we can head to this coffin, get another item, and then we can head to the fountain right before. Okay. I like this idea. Let's fight the headman. He's got a couple of elites with him. What else is new? Okay. Well! Got a couple of wards on the headsman. He's got extra accuracy and damage now, which uh, sucks. Yeah, give me the wrath, give me the wrath build up over time. But first, let's go ahead and cast this. Spell power reduces mana spent by one, so charging up that spell power will probably be a huge deal. Because yeah, now it costs even less. That's gonna be great. We're gonna try to slice the headsman first. All right, Black Widow. Anyone but the miner, please. Yeah, because you ignore armor, so hit, you can hit the guard for a lot of damage. Um, Abominomicon can't hit the guard for a lot of damage, but he can still set it on fire. And burn him. That setting it on fire is burning him, but... I know. So you just said that because you just said the same thing twice. You just wanted to do that? Yeah, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Thankfully, that was warded. What'd you get? What's his effect? Cowardice. Chance to flee increases by 20% per turn. Except it's 0% because of our shackles. Before the beginning of their turn, deal stress damage to all allies. Nice. Alright. Spiders! Loving the spiders. Okay. We can give insanity for free. Well, we gotta get, um... to give that drain leveled up first, but we're getting there. Yo, do I want a spectral... No, 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 I don't want a spectral wave. I want to see if I can get a kill here. Nah, we don't really have a kill potential. I don't want you to kill him. I want to eat this guy. I want my Abominomicon to eat someone, damn it. But we, we got to get his stress lower to make that happen. Suck tentacles. Also die. <laughs> Gotta love giving him the tentacle suck. Well, shit. 
We're just dying so fast. Hey, we're not afraid of your whips. I guess we should use this again because we can. Now get rid of this. Now it's minus six. That's actually really, really good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no, we got moved back. And it hurt. Very cool. Very cool with the curses. Um, go ahead and move him up. One by one. I didn't expect him to die from that. Vanishes from this world. I guess I should have. All right, I want the Reaper to get the kill. There we go. Reap him. Cool. As your suffering ends. And they're back in formation too. Ooh, grappling hook. I like this one. Minions gain accuracy, luck, and evasion. It's a straight up buffs. Tiny buffs, but straight up buffs. What's not the love? Goes in this spot. Well, that team is now almost level five, so they won't be getting the attack and dread anymore. And honestly, the grappling hook's better anyway, in my opinion. Get rid of the broken sword. Get ourselves another talent point, which we'll save for now. Bombanomicon gets a level up. Go ahead and give him some accuracy, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Widow. Go ahead and give her more damage. Reaper. Give him more damage. And also, with this extra point, let's give him some accuracy, too. Okay. Baron Sai, you're ready to go. Reaper, you need heals. We have 39 souls. Mm. You know what we should do is probably open up the arena. And get some of these minions that we're not using leveling up. Bones, bones, bones. Just so uninspired. So uninspired. All right. We'll go ahead and level up the headhunter. Just leave him in here for a while. Okay. Sacrificial altars next. Well. Hmm. Humans become much sturdier when you strip them of their vital organs. Go ahead and just shove you right in there. E. Oh wow, we got the uh, Black Widow spikes. Nice. Gambling chip. All enemies gain extra health, but we get additional parts. We can find another team of three. Oh, there they go. I was going to say, if we can find another team of three, that might be worth using. All right, team one is ready to go. In fact, yeah, let's use it. 15 extra health isn't that much. Famous last words, but six additional body parts would be nice. Let's go, team one. All right, that is a giant. Oh, God. Oh, dear God, it's an ogre. He's a size two enemy. He cannot be moved around. He has 300 health. Mommy, pick me up. I'm scared. Um, he can't be moved, but he can be stunned. Thankfully, he has no, uh, he has no uh, evasion. Unlike this bastard. Oh, boy. I don't want to move him back. Yeah, yeah, no. Let's just go for the chest piercer. Decent damage. You're going to... Oh, God. You're going to give him the fist? You fisted the big guy? Oh, dear. Nine shift bear. More powder. Trench load. Give yourself armor and wards. Uh, Sai. No, there's no chance of a kill from that. Um, well, you know what? Oh, freaking do some bony ass weather. There you go. And then get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of those. Okay. Marked. Every attack against the target is a critical hit. The Dark Knight can't be critically hit. What are you thinking over there, boy? Doom Slayer? More like. 
or Doomsayer, more like Dumbsayer. Not wait to see this guy hit. Here he goes. 15 damage. That actually was not a big deal. More powder. Shove it all in there. I wanted to be more powder than... I almost said more powder than man. I wanted to be more powder than cannon. You can hit the third position with death comes for everyone. For some reason, I thought that was only the first two. All right. Yeah, the rest of us are just going after the Doomsayer. Ow. Oh, he laughed at me. That little joker laughed. More! More powder. Savor these Ooh, last nice crit. Few heartbeats. Fate's fickle. And you're in a pickle. There you go. Perfect. Ooh, he missed. Nice. All right. Prepare to shoot. This should be fun. Um, I mean, yo, you can't embrace mediocrity from here. Yeah, that's right. I guess just slap him. Yeah, that works. Cool. He got slapped. Uh, you know what? Why don't you buff yourself up as well, Basilla? Okay. Go ahead and do the Abyssal Hunger to get the get some health back. He's about to smack it back out of you. Yep. Here it comes. Volley! Oh, yeah. That's a good chunk of health. Good stuff. Load up. You ready for the next bombardment? Mm. Yeah, this Unassuming Strike still does more damage. No matter what, it does more damage. Good stuff. Dude, he really wants this Dark Knight dead. He, like, really is enjoying attacking this Dark Knight. More! Okay. Um, move back. Use Embrace Mediocrity. Get our boy some more armor. He needs it. <laughs> yeah, this this ogre's going down. I almost called him a giant. Because he looks more like a giant than an ogre. You know, ogres are usually a little bit more monstrous. You know what I mean? Eh, how much health has he got left? 46? Yeah, let's charge up one more time. Cool. Sai, more embrace, more mediocrity. More powerful Dark Knight. Does he just ignore armor? He seems to be doing the same amount of damage every time. I'm not the only one noticing that, right? Right? Anyway, see if we can get the kill. Oh, okay. Well done, Vasilla. Sorry about your powder. Soon Fair. This world will be mine. E. Humanarium token. Very cool. And we got some extra stuff out of that, too. That went pretty well. Dare I say it. I, and I do, because I did. I guess we could swap over to uh, increasing the chance of getting better parts now. now. I will make mortals tremble before me. Because we have more higher level Even more dudes. Alright, Chef Burr. Why don't you get some armor to go along with that resistance? And then Vasilla, more damage. Because that's what you do. Yeah, he's getting he's getting experience slowly but surely. Bear deserved that kill. Look, too late. But you want to read the the thing? There he is, ogre. Three forty-five normally, twenty-three to thirty-four damage. First ability does damage. Second ability buff self for two turns. Didn't see that one. More damage, more accuracy, more luck. Crits do more damage. Third ability. Deals damage and stuns. Actually doesn't seem that strong. Hmm. Some subjects have found themselves growing to truly monstrous sizes. So they were humans that were experimented on by alchemists. Alright. Fortunately, it seems a certain necromancer has come around just in time to volunteer for the job of putting them down. Alright. 
Very cool. Let's get our dude out of the uh, mortuary here. The Dark Knight's the one who took the most damage on that one. That's different. Oh, hey. Uh, Black Widow has Venom Spikes. Nice. All right. I don't... You know what? I'm sending Team 1 here to this cultist because we'll get better items. Mechanical aim for the zombie is actually really good. At the start of each turn, he gains more accuracy and damage. Stacks up to five times. Bonus is removed if he changes position. But if you put him in the back, that's pretty amazing. Enchanted boom for the skeleton. Giggity. Becomes receptive to buffs. He's still immune to debuffs. Wedding gift for the bride. More crit damage. And a book of ancient wisdom. Sucks. Bone, baby! Alright. Sai, so enjoy your new bone. Okay, now Team 2, it's your turn again. We got a stone boy, two stone boys, a doom boy, and a magey boy. Alright. I think we can deal with that. I hope we can deal with that. But well, we can only start off with a pole, which thankfully ignores wards. So bring you to the front. These two, when they're not close enough to the front, they usually try to move up there. So we can make use of this. As for Reaper, let's go ahead. This could actually knock out. And you know what? You know, got to remember to cast. There's no sun up in the sky. Well, we're about out of mana, so that's going to become less relevant soon. Go for him. Okay. The end is coming. There's his armor back. Because frick. Hey, we got a lot of wards. I just noticed. Hit someone. Not him! Damn it, you son of a lich. All right. Uh, You know what? You can scream at them and maybe make them move. Hey, look at that. Yay for blocks. <gasps> and you, all you can do is move up. He does buff himself as he moves forward. Yeah, he gains more accuracy. But... We have horse breath. The most dangerous weapon. Ooh, that's good damage. Use your... Yeah, use that again. It'll hurt us, but it'll get rid of the stone guys. Once the stone guys are... Ow. Once the stone guys are gone, we're pretty safe. Uh, oh, you're actually going to die from the Venom. Which is a little wild. We can remove their accuracy, though. Or at least a little bit of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, and burn them. And it does not affect the blocks and wards, too. This is all good for Bitcoin. Damn, son. This whole random enemy thing. Seems to be hitting the same enemy every time, and I'm here for it. Nice damage. Okay, Reaper. Uh, 32 to 40. Yeah, that's a guarantee. As long as it hits, of course. Mm, delicious healing. Thank you. All right. Tentacle time. Burn, baby, burn. Discus and Furnace. Go ahead and actually just move him up. All right. Less all right. How dare you point at me? Damn blocks. Uh, Reaper, wait. Bombonomicon. Slap, slap, slap. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Oh, never mind. He's going to die from the frick. I wanted the Reaper to get the heal. Oh, well. Hey, it's fickle. And I'm dead. How's that for Fickle? Mine is the winning side. Oh, fate is Fickle. And I'm real Frickled. Okay. We need more uh, mana back. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's get that <laughs> extra 12 accuracy on everyone. A messy slaughter. Level 5 Lich. Honestly, I kind of need these two swapped around. The problem is, 
He's kind of limited from the back. He can still drain. He can still use agony. So maybe we're not as... Maybe that we're... Hmm. Maybe we're better off than I thought. Yeah, yeah, Because I want the Lich to be in the position to use that Toxic Cloud. So that's actually a really good move. Also, give him more speed. Okay. We're minus a lot of health right now, so I'm actually going to go ahead and sacrifice some flesh, some rags, and... Some bone. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. I guess we're screaming at rocks to make the move. How else would you do it? Okay. Uh, definitely going for the artifact. No question there. Guess I should put people into the healing room, huh? There we go. Alright, team one. Head to the left. Show me what we got. Bloody Horde. At the, each round of combat, Iratus gains 10 wrath. That's okay. Minions gain 13 luck, but minus 13 accuracy. The hook. Whenever an enemy moves, they receive 8 damage and stress damage. I yep. That's a good one. Problem is, you'd have to give up the grappling hook for the hooky hook. We get a team with a lot of moves on it. The hook is really good. This team has some moves, but not a lot. Too bad the um, Dark Knight can't get a move on it. But things are getting to the point where a stress team seems like the way to go. A st stress team with a lot of moves. Because, the well, the Wraith doesn't start with a move, which sucks. But the Banshee does. All right, got a Banshee now. It's time. Perfect. Uh, what else? Who else has some good move effects on them that I could make use of? I mean, the shade has all kinds of crazy shit, which does include a move. So you know what? Oop. Let's try a shade. What a, an ethereal team. You know what? We might as well just go straight off with the ethereal team here. There you go. This is Team Nobody. Because they got no bodies. Lost Soul ain't got no body, but she's got something, if you know what I mean. What is that? Oh, it's your skin now. Uh, Shade. Hmm. Alright. Uh, Casper's staying exactly the same. Banshee. Witchy. Bridey. Nunny. Perfect. Uh, all right. Well, I guess it's Halloween, so we're going with, uh, witchy. Okay. All right. Ah, is Lost Soul good in front? I don't remember. Uh, Inspire Heroics, which is a move attack. Uh, Benevolent Spirit is the heal. Misleading Beauty is a decent magic attack. Stream of Delusion. Mm, actually, yeah. Shade can move enemies from here. He can also he can use any of his moves, I believe, from the... Nope, except for Gloom Claws, which isn't as good as it used to be. Casper can do most anything from the third position, and the Witch is very good from the back. Alright! What do we got? Oh, jeez, an Adamon. Oh, well, this is a good one to have a move team, because they're going to be moving around on us. Let's try Team 3. See how they do. We are Legion, so says Casper. <laughs> Casper the Friendly Legionnaire. Um, I don't have any buffs yet, so let's go for the Ghostly Fire. Uh, honestly, I want to get rid of their wards. Let's start getting rid of their wards. Because we're going to be a ward-heavy team. Okay, Lost Soul. Inspire Heroics. Gives an enemy accuracy. Pulls him forward. Does stress damage. Dubious Boom. Deals less damage, but gains two wards. I mean, there's definitely a time to use that. I think for now... And most of you already have really good accuracy. So let's just go ahead and... Not worry about that, because there's not really a good opportunity to use it yet. Let's go ahead and give some wards to the Banshee. <laughs> okay, Shade. His really long feet. 
Look how long his feet are. Oh god, that's disturbing. Oh, I hate it. I hate it a bit. Anyway, let's pull someone up and give him a blind. Um, damn it, we have to get rid of the... Oh, no, wait. Uh, yeah, we do have to get rid of these wards. Well, let's get rid of the one on the Doomsayer. Not a fan of the feet. <laughs> okay, Witchy, you can move people around easy, though. And you can get stress. There you go, in a little bit. So everyone should be getting stressed quite easily. Did I make a mistake by pointing out those feet? <laughs> I think I've made a mistake. Oh crap, how did you get in the second position? Oh god, help me. Ow. Double ow. Okay. So, pull forward the Doomsayer. There we go. And of course that pull hurts him. When an enemy moves, deal stress damage to it. There you go. Uh, pull forward... Oh god, I don't want to pull forward you. No, uh, inspire heroics on the Doomsayer. Ah, oh, crap, it works on two of them. I forgot about that. Oh, did you get an extra scream on him? Okay, as long as we move faster than him next turn, we're gonna be fine. Okay, good stuff. Casper's been marked. Damn it, he's been put to sleep. Yo, it's Fire Heroics on these two? That'll move... Well, we missed one of them, but it'll move the Doomsayer up above. Yeah, there you go. This is fine. Go ahead and pull you up and reduce your accuracy. There we go, and an extra scream, of course. Go ahead and stay in your no stance. I'm digging that. The end is coming. Moves him back. He's insane now, though. Hopeless. Ooh, that's less damage. That's half damage. It's actually huge. Need to move him out of the front position. Ah, damn it, our shade is taking a lot of damage. Terror wave. Stress and all enemies randomly swap positions. That's the ticket. And then they all get extra stress. Berserk in the back. Oh, well, it's a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, you knew that was coming. All right. The wards aren't going to do much. I guess pull them. Well, pull one of them forward, the Doomsayer. He's knocked out of his stance. He's got no sanity left. Let's go ahead and swap you two and give us some evasion. Might be able to keep him. I mean, what'd you call this team? Phasmophobia? Just to reference the game that came out? Ah, oh, crap. That sucks. Um, well, it doesn't matter what their positioning is as much anymore. All that matters is we're probably going to end up losing our uh, shade. Pull both of these two up. Wow! Sodomon just refuses to be hit. Okay. Could go for the claws, which does damage based on their sanity. The loss of sanity. Let's do that. One by one. Beautiful. Weakness unlucky. Fantastic. Well, even reinforcements can help now. <laughs> Have some ghost breath. All right, well, and then there was one. Okay, get rid of that ward. The Nobodies is also a really great name. Nice block. Okay. Well, I say we just keep targeting that ward. We are giving her more damage. But we can actually get rid of buffs with Casper. So yeah, that actually works out pretty well. Um, not really much you could do for us other than give us mana. Which is actually a really good move. Because we could use it. <laughs> okay. 
two sanity left. Come on. There we go. Now down to zero. You have nothing that lowers sanity from here, so that sucks. Go ahead and swap positions. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Legion. Actually, throw down the curse, because the curse has damage over time. So even if you don't get in a heart attack immediately, every time you move, there's a chance to get one. There it is! Good old scream from Witchy. A sad display for mortal kind. How sad. How display. What the frick is that? Terrifying visage. All minions receive 10% damage until the end of combat. Expended after use. Nice. They got hurt quite a bit, but they did win. That's kind of important. They're obviously going to need more dread. So, but the shade, man. He has two blocks, no wards. He could really use some wards. He could also use some speed, I think. So I'm going to give him some initiative. Casper, you're perfect. Don't change anything, but also give me more dread. Um, Witchy, you're also pretty amazing. I'm going to build you for evasion. All right. Oh, I meant to go in there. Okay. You guys are back on the team. Put you in the wrong position because that's what I do, apparently. Oh, Casper has a badge. I didn't even realize. I wasn't paying attention. Yo, what do I want to upgrade? Probably something stress-related. Necrotic Wind could become Wind of Oblivion, which gives a knockback. I mean, that's a pretty easy choice. Or Necrotic Squall, which uh, does more stress damage. Ghostly Fire, which does stress over time. Could be stronger. Or it could hit um, three enemies instead of two. Evolution could give Dread, or it could give Blocks and Wards, which is tempting. Survival is pretty tempting, too, but I think we go with Wind of Oblivion. Me well, my that just fits too well. Alright. Very cool. Ancient Coffin. Team 2, show me what you got. Lantern of Souls. When an enemy dies, the minion restores 20% of its health. Holy crap, that's good. 10% less damage. Not good. Uh, ashes. Ooh, more fire. Do we have someone with multi-attack? Someone else? I mean, Psy technically has multi-attack. Well, actually, so does Chef Bear. I don't know if it counts as single target, though. I kind of want the lantern, though. When an enemy dies, the minion restores vigor. Doesn't even say that they need to be the one to kill the enemy. It's just when someone dies, get health. I feel like that's too good to pass up. Okay, but who gets it? You know, Vasily, I passed you up on both the ones on the um, vampire one, so how about I give you this one? There you go. I'm gonna need more like that, though. Okay. That's good stuff. I kinda wanna see if we can make another potion. I don't know, we're a little low on items, though. Maybe we should hold off. Can you stack the burns? Yes, you can. An elite stone? Oh, yeah, yeah, a stone, a demolitionist, a doomsayer, and a guard. Hmm. But we do have the pulls from the spider lady, so Team 2 can probably do this. Let's see how it goes. It would be actually better on high HP dudes as well. It would actually be really good for uh, the bone golem, now that I think about it. All right. So we need to pull up anyone who is uh, not you. So... <laughs> Hello, guard. How you doing? Yeah, you also do less damage. Um, let's get some agony on the field. Enjoy. Don't point at me, you bitch. All right. Yo, corrosive cloud gets rid of armor. Give him the stank. There you go. As long as you're standing in the stank, you you have no armor. Hey! How you doing? Enjoy tentacles! Beautiful. This team's really coming together. Alright, there's the buff. 
We probably need to throw some stank right there as well, but uh, let's keep pulling. Oh, no, I don't want to pull you! Hmm. Oh, but we can just make you all stand still. There you go. A little bit of webbing. Never hurt anybody. Go ahead and throw some stank right here. You can't be uh, made insane, but you can lose your armor. All right, a little bit more agony, if you please. As oh, God! In life, you will be worth something in death. Wow, what the hell even happened there? Doomsayer just shook his fist and the guy just died. I don't understand. All right, definitely want to go ahead and throw down the uh, tentacles while we have the stank available. I mean, he died probably from the tentacle, the flames, but still, just the way it happened, it was amazing. All right. Yo, can your luck and evasion? Yeah, that'll work. I mean, you have no evasion, but still. Uh, I could reap right now. Oh yeah, you have buffs on you, don't you? Let's get rid of those. Get rid of your accuracy buff. 55 accuracy is enough for anybody. Alright. Have some stank. Oh, I think we might get it. Oh, we're definitely gonna get it. Alright. Break and swallow. He's broken. He's food. Nice. 14 health each turn, and it lasts for the rest of the battle? Holy crap! Well, you got that at the right time. Ow. My face. Alright, let's get rid of this elite stone golem now. Um, you know what? There you go. Don't point at me. Alright. Uh, you know what? Just throw your magic down. It's fine. Okay, so I don't want you to move up yet, because he might kill you. So instead, lower his accuracy even further. That'll be nice. Down to 46. And of course he hit. It was blocked, thankfully, but of course it hit. Dang it. All right. Oh, he's got his armor back. Crap. Uh, wait till the end of the turn. Uh, frick. I can't use the stank. Mm, okay. Make the Reaper stronger. That'll work. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Frick. Wait. You can't hit back that far. I know your capabilities. And they're not that capable. For the stockpiles. There's the healing. Also, we could just, you know, delay the battle as much as possible to get free heals. Every turn. But I think we're hungry. Alright. You just realize the things on its chest are not eyes that are nipple rings? Why would it have that? Why wouldn't it have it? You got against nipple rings. Who just wants to feel alive a little bit, you know? Can you blame him? You shouldn't. Yeah, free 14 health. All right. Well, I mean, he already likes tentacles. What do you expect? <laughs> As your suffering ends, your service begins. Oh boy, we got a fork. Additional item after battle. It's actually not that bad. Or not an item, but a body part. Level 5 brain. We got a better brain. We got a better brain. We got a couple badges. One for the Black Widow. What do we level up on the Black Widow? Maybe the pull. We can make it lose all blocks and wards. That seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then give you more speed. So you're more likely to use it. Maybe some more accuracy. Reaper! <laughs> Enemy becomes insane or inspired. Well, guess what? He's only going to get one. Oh, that's that's going to be fun. Give me more speed. He now has guaranteed insanity. Alright. 
that's gonna be so sick. Okay, pull back, uh, get you two back. Ah, oh, you don't have as much health as I was hoping. That's too bad. Alright, well, Vasilla, we got a level 5 brain for you. Here you go. Enjoy. Give me more damage. And more health, please. Uh, and then... You know, let's just get the chance of a stun on Crit. We'll give you more luck eventually. Okay. That was good stuff. Uh, Sacrificial Altar? I guess I could build something to sacrifice. I don't know. What would you sacrifice here? Which one of these minions is the most sacrificable? I don't know if that's a correct word. <laughs> is best... Which one should I yeet? <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Which one should I make and then immediately yeet away? Yeah, I'm gonna have to think of, uh... I'm gonna have to think of... Well, never mind, I can't think of it anymore, because I... <laughs> my brain just died. Don't worry. It's a very small death. Ghoul? <laughs> I see where you're getting at, Nazis. Oh, the one with the weird feet? Well, actually, you know what? There you go. Yeah, that one has feet. Yeah, it's just whichever ones have feet. That is just so weird. Okay, back to your normal skin for now, Shade. Sorry, but them feet gotta go. All right, I actually like that idea. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right, we're gonna sacrifice the weird-footed Shade. All right. Into the trash he goes. Rags, bones, Bane Aura. Ooh, extra spell power. And a delectable part. When a minion dies, all allies recover health for one battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, getting the heal right before the boss was kind of the plan, actually. Doomsayer, Ottoman, Golem, Mad Mage. Let's try team one. Come on, lads! Let's go! Let this slaughter commence! Uh, you know what? As tempting as it is to start with Bony Bully, let's actually start with Embrace Mediocrity. Give our Dark Knight a little bit more defense. Ow. <laughs> I hate it. We're gonna see how, how fast we can get rid of this Mad Mage. Uh, let's start with the team. There's no okay. and shoot him. He's definitely a prime target. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Buckshot to the second position. It won't hurt the Golem. No, no, actually, Fire. Fire good! Fire good, actually. <laughs> uh, and then... Yeah, hit the Mad Mage. Or just do that. That works, too. You're going to miss, right? Cool. Alright. Yeah, give me more armor. Ew! Ugh, that debuff, that's a... Uh... Ah! That's an accuracy debuff. We're taking a lot of damage, and I don't like it. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. Uh, start with this. Let's see if the crit gets killed. So close. Okay. Oh, we just don't have enough. Okay. Kill him. That's 20 health for... for Vasilla. Which is definitely nice. Let's skip mana from the Dark Knight. Ooh, that's a stun! Ouch! All right, I actually need you to move up, Sai. So move up and see if we can get the stun on the golem. There it is. Because you have a move that ignores armor, and I'm going to need it really badly right about now. Go ahead and knock her back. Okay. Actually does extra damage, too. I forgot about that. 
Well, at least I didn't do any damage. Uh, that sucks. Actually, it doesn't suck that bad. Uh, speaking of suck, give me the suck. We need that health. All right, Sai, slap the golem. There's the sacrifice. All right. Kind of saw that coming. Go ahead and shoot. We need to get rid of this block as soon as possible. And this will get rid of it. Okay, now Sai can do some business. Trench load. Powder. I'm going to give you wards and blocks, and you need them both right now. Because you need to not die. That could suck. Uh, go for the single hit. Yeah, the crit. Six health. Nice. The boss needs some health here. Help here. Oh, no. Well, size dead. Because I don't think there's any way we can move him now. Oh, wait. No, we can't get rid of his... Yeah, I can't think of a way to get rid of his mana fast... Or his uh, wards fast enough. And this does not ignore ward. Which really sucks. Well. We already know he's going to die. Unless it misses. Which it doesn't. Damn it. He had some good items too. Well. Shoot her in the face. Can this get a kill? It will probably get a kill if it hits. Hey. An extra 20 health for you. Alright, now we need to get rid of all of this friggin' armor. Or block, not armor. Uh. Honestly, just trench load until the block is gone. Yeah. It's gonna take a while to get the block gone, but meh. Ow. Well, at least he didn't do it again. Uh, trench load again. Okay. And then hit. Alright, this is actually... So far, it's working out alright. Okay. Damn, the cannonball's not enough. I was hoping for a little bit more. And of course he gets to move twice in a row. Well, yup. That's some bullshit, man. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Alright, game. No, that's fine. No, that's cool. Fuck you, too. Jesus. He doesn't have anything changing his initiative, so... What the fuck? <laughs> uh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be Two level five brains, and we got the bone back. Schedule. Yeah, we lost the lantern, too. Well, that was some bullshit. <laughs> More bones for the dogs of war. Alright, I'm actually gonna swap these two around. Put the skeleton in the second position, I think. All right, more resistance for the Dark Knight because we basically don't change anything. <laughs> okay, Bony Bully is still tempting, but I'm also now tempted to get uh, Strength of Mediocrity because that's such a good move. Hmm. Because yeah, from where he's gonna be, he won't have Bony Bully available. Yeah, give me strength and mediocrity. Ooh, give him the bone back. Of my give him speed to try to use it as soon as possible. Yeah, let's give him some armor so that maybe he won't die immediately again in the future. Okay. I'm not giving you the stun anymore. 
<laughs> I'm giving you this to ignore wards. That could have made a huge difference in that last fight. It was a mistake to not have. Okay. Try again. The good no, the good thing about having, you know, a bunch of undead is that you can just keep bringing them back and who cares? <laughs> but yeah, that double move was crap. Oh well. Alright, well, it's almost boss time. And hey, I can get my mana back. Which is what I want to do with Team 2, so give me my mana back. Alright. Oh, we got 83 uh, Digger Souls. Mm. Yeah, I want more experience. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a Lich. Hmm. I just can't tell where they get their uncaring attitude from. There you go. Okay. Was there someone in chat who wanted to be the Dark Knight? I don't know. I might have missed it. Headsman, Miner, a uh, hunky, and whoever this new one is. The Mistress. Mm, kinky. Is far from a common slave driver. She is, in fact, the spoiled, rebellious daughter of a prominent noble. Always using small folk in her cruel games, she eventually committed a crime so unspeakable that even her father could not shield her. Sentenced to the mines, she made... She was made a taskmaster due to a few bribes, but turned out to be quite excellent at the job. As far as she is concerned, she finally found a role she enjoys. Only the ascent of a certain necromancer threatens to spoil her fun. Ah, oh, Silvermane, you should have spoken up then. You can still make that happen. So there's the mistress. Does not escape, as normal for bosses. When receiving damage... All allies instantly attack the minion that dealt the damage, ignoring redirecting. After dying, all allies act twice and deal 300% more damage. And let me guess, she can summon allies. That would be uh, a guess. However, we can start by doing things like this. Uh, you're insane now. <laughs> all remaining strength, he will die soon. Probably not soon enough, though. Okay, and your pole can... And remove all blocks and wards, which is nice. Let's go ahead and actually start by sticking someone with minus luck and evasion, maybe? Does she have evasion? No, but she has a lot of accuracy, apparently. Actually, no. Lowers damage. She can't summon? She buffs. For her glory. 40 luck and 40 accuracy and 40% extra damage? Holy frick! What the heck? Alright, well, that's a thing. Also, I didn't notice this, but they have a lot more health than regular minions. So that's it. Yeah, that's basically... <laughs> oh no, she's hot. Okay. Well, she may be hot, but can she defeat the tentacles? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. All right, I feel like I'm in danger still, but we'll see. Uh, go ahead and throw one down on the hunky. What's his insanity? All remaining strength. Okay, they get at two moves per turn, which sucks. But, on the other hand... What the hell is that heal? On the other hand, they will, theoretically, die very fast. Theoretically. Let's go ahead and keep removing arm... Or let's remove your luck, because you have a lot of it. Yeah, so he'll... Hopefully die next turn. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and... I don't want to hit a random enemy. That could be our undoing. You know what? Keep the corrosive clouds incoming, maybe? No, that's not that useful. Go ahead and command on dead. Make, make the Abominomicon strong con. 
All right, and it's his turn, so that works out. Uh, go ahead and actually keep stacking. Yeah, keep doing that. And then keep stacking the tentacle burn. Oh, baby! Oh, fricky! Yeah, we might be losing our abomination here. Dare I sacrifice the spider lady to save the abomination? Oh, I dare. Um, this should get the kill. I'm gonna throw this down just to be safe. There's no sun up in the sky. Boom! That's hell. All right, that's good stuff. Um, spider cocoon. You know what? You redirect anyone who is directly positioned behind you. So maybe we do this. And then you, Lich, move that cocoon up. And now you're shielding the abomination. Nom, 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 nom. thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Hey! Gotta love it. All right. Your turn. Hey, can you get a stress break? Nope. Oh well. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yo, just keep doing that, actually. That's gonna work out well for us. You'll gain health. Damage will be redirected. All she can do is whip. She could try to whip it good. She has such low health. I totally understand how she... She has 69 health and she just got the tentacles, lads. It was the perfect video game turn. All right, finish her off. Give me that health. Thank you. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Dungeon Queen. All right. Raven Feathers. When receiving damage, minion gains four evasion until the end of combat. Can stack up to five times. That's not terrible. That was that was extra nice. It was a double nice. Beautiful. All right, levels up. For everyone. Alright, abominable. You give it more attack. I don't know. Yeah, it was actually. A, I feel like it was an easier fight than the Keymaster, but. We also had a really strong team, I feel like. I feel like this team is kind of nuts. Now, what do we give the Abominominus? Do we just give him straight up health? Do we give him. Do we give this fat lug evasion? I don't think we do. But I feel like giving him extra damage, just straight up damage, is not really doing much for us. Because most of his use from uh, Gut isn't the damage. It's actually the fact that these work with it and stack thrice. Hunger could become unrestrained. Eh. Don't really care about upping his dread. I like the idea that we could do stress damage with the roar. The thumping give us better buffs or the enemy better debuffs. Minus 12 accuracy is pretty big. And then the shield. Man, the shield's just kind of okay. I feel like uh, leveling up this is probably the way to start. I yeah. expect results. Give him a better debuff. Well, let's give him some health. Okay, a solid 150 health. We should probably give uh, the Black Widow some armor and stuff if we're going to use her for defense, which I kind of like the idea of now. She's now the frontliner. And the Lich is here for damage and debuffs, to be honest. Uh, now we can make his shards stronger. We can make it so that it hits two enemies and a random ally. Or not a random ally, whoever's in the first position. We could make him... Ignore wards. You can make his buff stronger. Quite a bit stronger. Or we can make his sacrifice give more health. I think I'm going to do shard swarm. Ignore wards. Serve me that makes well, his attacks always minion. useful. And right now they're not always useful. Uh, Reaper. Dude, he has so much initiative already. I can give him more. Uh, sure. 
and then maybe a little bit of evasion. And this for spell power. He does two things. He forces enemies to go insane, and he gives me a lot of extra spell power. Alright. Speaking of which, we could... Try to get some... Extra spell power juice. Bone Spear can be pretty good. It gets stronger as your spell power goes up. I love the ones that get cheaper, though, like Volley of Spears. Deals double damage if the target is debuffed. We have plenty of debuffs. Hmm. Just looking to see what else gets cheaper. On cast. Rites of Carnage. Hmm, I could get uh, ultimate abilities cost less. Well, I need one more wrath point. Er, need one more talent point for that. Critical damage. Guaranteed crits. This is the one that uh, lowers enemy accuracy. Actually lowers more accuracy as it gets stronger. That's pretty cool. The finger of death. Takes away all blocks and wards. I mean, that's a pretty strong move. Dispel could be pretty good. Okay, I think we're going to head down Ooh, toward and get Volley of Spears. Nice. I think that's fair. Okay, pull the team back. I always get them swapped around. Okay, and then we head up to the next area. See what we got. Hunger for wealth had long since become only a vi uh, the only virtue among the hardy dwarven folk. We're in the dwarven tunnels. Two warriors and a berserker. All right. Well, let's we'll see what Team 1 can do here. Other than get me dead. That's okay, we're already dead. Okay, the Zerker, of course. Takes stress every turn. Gets stronger as he gets stressed. Um, damn, I wish we could ignore blocks right now. But we can't, so just hit the Zerker. Okay, at least he, at least that gets... Okay, well, Sai's gonna die. That was fast. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Frickin' hell. Holy vey. This guy's debuffed, which means that Volley of Spears could be useful, but... We're gonna go ahead and get rid of those blocks to start with. Alright, well... Go ahead and give me uh, the trench loading. Okay, that's good. That was excellent. Alright. Finally, some good freaking news. Give me a crit. My kingdom comes. Alrighty. Um I mean I wanted to do strength and mediocrity. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's probably a dangerous move, but it might be a dangerous move that can allow us to get a kill on that guy. Stop! Continue! Okay. What's our chance of a kill there? Zero, of course. Uh... Dang it, he's not debuffed. Otherwise, Volley of Spears could do extra damage to him. We could launch that up front. Give me the bony weather. No and let's hope for this kill. Sky. He's Only done it! Incoming. Good stuff, Chef Bear. Alright, a little bit of bony weather helped us out a lot there. Let's go ahead and throw down more strength and mediocrity, I think. Actually, before we do that, let's get the volley of spears right here. Good damage. Cool. I wish there was a way to get the Dark Knight to direct all damage to him. Okay. Death comes for everyone. Hopefully it's going into this guy. Crit! Damn it. Well, nice knowing you. Ooh, 
Ooh, armor absorb. Nice. Get him. Down to one. Mistake. Opposing me. <laughs> All right, Sai. You did good. Run. Okay, he should be safe from here. So now we just need to get rid of that block. Beautiful. Alrighty then. Now we just have to knock him down. Thankfully, he... Well, I guess not thankfully, but he didn't use his move that gets rid of his... His armor and his resistances. So we still have to deal with those, but who cares? We're gonna light him on fire. Woo! Uh, yeah, mmm. No, no, more th strength and mediocrity. This is an easy move. He just stays here now and buffs. Yeah, this is easy moves. Uh, yeah, shoot. We should be good now. The rest of this should be a relatively easy fight. Unless he can magically attack the third position. And I forgot about it. But I don't think he... There goes his armor and resistance. Boop. Alright. Yep, time to head back to the grave. And... Boom, baby. Get out of the way. You live for the woo? A predictable outcome. I live to be able to do the woo. Uh, spider mandibles. All right. Lose percentage of your health. Nice. And sanity. All right. So, Sai uh, is practically... Hey, 69 digger souls. Nice. Sai, you need to go in here, and there's, like, no question about it. You're going in there. Uh, Chef Bear, give me more armor on you, because I think I've... I want to swip you... Swip you? Switch you back to the... the... Damn it. Help. Forgotten how to manage my team. Okay, there we go. We're good. <laughs> Swap you back there. I feel like I should... I want more souls. Because that mean That could mean a lot more upgrades going forward. And I literally just looked at it and then I forgot what I need for it. Uh, <laughs> a Banshee. Alright, give me a Banshee. A level 11 brain? What the heck? Where did you that come from? to enjoy your wretched existence okay cool big brain time apparently all right yeah yeah, yeah 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 silver may wants to be the dark knight which makes sense because this is a very silver uh well very silver loadout or silver look okay I am lacking a fourth team, so I think we do need to make one eventually. We'll have the ghoul. Because that's... That's what Smuckum wants. Um, I like pairing the ghoul. You know what? Let's go with an all-blood team. Blood Phantasm would be next. We want to put a Dampire in there. Embrace your true And then eventually self. I want to get a regular vampire. But we'll put that team together. Okay. Ghoul has... Alright. Well, that's... Kind of an underwhelming skin. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Different. Just not different enough, I feel like. Vampire? Probably has... Yeah. Okay. Oof. Not so sure about the hood. <laughs> I really like this black and gold look, though. That black and gold look loadout is pretty good. Ooh. Ooh! Cosmic Phantom! I like all of your other kit. Wow, those are all nice. Okay. Hey, yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, smuck him and have big brain. There you go. Big brain smuck him. There you go. Uh, <laughs> three badges. Jeez. Damage, 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 damage. And maybe a little bit of evasion. <laughs> All right. And then the one that takes away blocks, because that's really good. Are in for a nasty surprise. The one that does extra damage based on uh, 
buffs or debuffs, which is pretty good as well. Actually, mm, neither of those are that impressive. So instead, I'm just going to go with go with the lowering mark for extra damage. Okay. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Well, I'm very tempted to go straight after the amazing chest. Oh, and there's a cultist over there, too. Yeah, we're going that way. Just realized the Abominomicon's still missing a lot of health. Uh, let's see. Infused Dagger. Alright, that's the spell. Liquid Desolation. 15% chance to stun enemies with spells. Or all enemies lose 18 accuracy. Amazing. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. We'll give up the Vagrant's rag Rags for that. I am... Oh, we, the fork's free. So yeah, we'll use the fork. Or at least we have a free spot for it. We have one of these stakes. Nah, actually... When a minion dies, all allies recover a lot of health. That's... I mean, that's best for Team 1. <laughs> I hate to say it. Hmm... I think we'll leave him alone. Okay. Oh, it's the same team. Well, I think Team 2 could take them on. We'll see if that's the case. I don't want to put the stress team against them. Hi! How y'all doing? Uh, you get to be crazy now. Congrats, you're hopeless. You lose all blocks and wards and damage. Uh, and then we need to take out the Berserker as quickly as possible, especially with his high-ass luck. Um, you could reduce his damage. But honestly... No, no, actually, Spider Cocoon. That's right, you are a defender. Why aren't the mortals dead yet? I mean, I could throw down my stank, but no, no, let's just... Ah, have you attack whoever you want. bodies fail you. All right. Well, that was a nice attempt at damage. That was the worst attempt at damage. Hi! Have some tentacles! Beautiful. Every time, I love it. Uh, go ahead and expunge in the back. Enjoy. Also hopeless. 10 out of 10. Ouch. <laughs> That hurt a lot. Yo. We can get him down to 40. Sanity. We can eat his ass. I was going to say we can eat his ass. We don't want to eat his ass. I mean, look, Abominomicon, you can eat whatever part you want, but I'm pretty sure you can get him down low enough now. At least I hope. Yeah, there's a chance. Go for it. Yummy! Yum, yum, eat him up. Delicious. How's that lack of hope doing for you? Shields up. Shields up. You can't have shields. Okay. Reaper. You really don't need to expunge anymore, so just throw down some agony. Yes, we evaporated him. We made him disappear. Beautiful. All right. Hey, have some tentacles. All right. Seven damage gets almost healed up after two turns, which is insanely good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have, like, a butt ton of spell power. Let's get some more. Spells! Cool. This only costs... Wow. Holy crap. This only costs six. This only costs 10. This does extra damage. It's neat. It's very neat. Um, poke. I didn't know what to do with him, so I just decided to poke him. Have some stank. Carve open their husks. All right. Yum, yum, eat him up. Delicious. Mop up the gore. I 
hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. That was amazing. Loved every minute of it. Uh, let's go ahead and give you... Well, Black Widow is going to be our tank, so we need to build up armor and resistance on her. So, when we have some extra souls... Yeah, extra souls that we don't want to spend on buildings, we'll probably be spending some of it there. You're still in here. You're level 6. It'd be great. Reaper, how you doing? I really don't know what to level up on you, so I guess I have some more evasion. Sigh, good lord, dude. Let's see what's coming up first. Oh, it's a cultist. Okay. I'm actually going to send team four. Because I believe, if I remember correctly, for the ghoul, receives one stack of lunch break at the beginning of battle. Yes, there's an amazing one for the ghoul. Um, Metal Betrayal for the Dampire receives a buff. That reduces the damage they receive by 5% each time they take damage, which is kind of neat. Stacks up to nine, or eight times. Crimson Chains for the Phantasm. Each character attacking the Phantasm receives 20 burn. And collectible part. No, through some snack. That was an easy pick. Yeah, that's a good item. Uh, you know what? I could actually up your... Ooh. Extra evasion every time you get hit. If you get hit. Of course, that could also be really good for the for the Banshee. Now, we'll give that to uh, you. Okay? But, the uh, Pain Blast, Thundering Squall. Yeah, those are amazing things for Spider Mandibles and the Ashes. But, that's going to the Vampire. Okay, what do we got up here? Uh, Trick, what are those? I want to say one of them is an Alchemist. The other one is the Traitor? And then a Warrior and a Zerker. Uh, okay, we need one more on this team, and I was intending on getting a Vampire, but we're kind of out of stuff. And unfortunately, another Zerker is not something I want to fight with this team. So I think we're just going to take Team 2 again. I hate to do it. Not really. But uh, <laughs> they need to come out. They need to make stuff happen here. We're going to make something happen. Oh, my lord. The Treasurer. That's what he is. Not the traitor. They're different. Well. This does ignore wards, right? No, it doesn't. So, in that case, let's use it on him. Start him off. Unlucky. It's a good one. Ow. Alright. Spider, you're, you're going to be on defensive duty. Start. Let's go ahead and get a hail of teeth going on as well. There you go. Ouch. Little bit of damage. Moved him back, which means he took some damage. Which is good for us. Yeah, let's lower initiative evasion and accuracy. And light them all on fire. I keep forgetting it can, it can do that. And that just works on everyone every time, which is kind of nuts. Go for damage. I was hoping to hit the Zerker, but that's okay. <laughs> Redirect's working, baby! Crap. Well, that missed, thankfully, so we didn't get the debuff. And he still went out. Uh, okay. Well, we know what you're gonna do. The Zerker's gonna go Zerk, so... Alchemist. Weakness. Less damage, receives more damage, less speed. Good. Okay. Go ahead and actually... This guy. Two of those are getting blocked, but one of them isn't. Which is more fire for us. Alright. There you go. That's some good damage. Oof, oof. Ah, oh, crud. They all get the move now. You're gonna throw down money, aren't you? Nope, you're gonna shake your sack at him. Oh god, they love the sack so much! It ups luck and accuracy. Dang it, their love for his sack is too much! Oh, damn it. That's right, loses all armor and resistance. Which is kind of bad. It's not like into the world bad. This is extra damage on debuffs, so. Making a mass grave. Go ahead and reap him. 
<laughs> this never gets old. We needed the help for that, so. Good stuff. Alright, alright. Uh, hunger sucks, uh, especially since I you moved too far forward. Uh, let's go ahead and do the roar. That curses, it ignites, and it moves you around. Go ahead and attack. Love the ability to ignore wards. Crap! Please don't hit the Abominomicon. Warded. Love it. What does that buff do again? Is that just damage? Yes, it's more damage. It's lots of damage. This dude is full of damage. However, Making a mass he's also dead. One less annoyance in the world. Reaped! You fool! Okay, keep blocking up front. You get warded, son. Yeah, use hunger, actually. This will put you right where we want you. With more damage! Okay, why aren't the mortals dead yet? Because this guy has infinite wards. Ow! That hurt. Man, I don't like Mr. Infinite Ward, but we gotta deal with him. And we don't have any moves that take away, uh, this only costs three mana to use. And it gets those blocks going, so... It's almost free! Holy crap! This could start getting rid of wards. Have I said ward enough? I don't know if I have. But we can ignore wards, so who cares? <laughs> nice! Needed that for the health. You know what? Intimidate him, they'll set him on fire. Oh, or it'll proc. It'll pop a ward, of course. <laughs> of course, it'll pop a ward. Yeah, 90 spell power on the second floor. What, is that not enough for you? How about 102? This is now free. We can now cast Hail of Teeth for free. <laughs> is that good enough? Poke. Good, good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. You didn't think it would be this easy? Well, what were you thinking? Nice. Let's see if we can get the, uh... We can see if we can get the Reaper to do the kill. Which will not happen if the Abominomicon gets the hit, so... Let's go ahead and slap down a shield. Hit me. But don't actually. Well, he hit me. Alright. This might get the kill. Let's find out! Hoi! Thanks for the help! My will is a tide that will wash away another pathetic civilizations. Yes. Vulture's feather. The minion receives 16 luck, 18 accuracy, and 12 evasion when an ally dies. That works well with the Lich. Works very well with the Lich. Also, we got a glass dagger. Uh, all minions gain 15 accuracy and damage until the battle ends or until a minion takes damage. And, of course, that's such a rare event. You know, it, it totally makes sense. All right. That's the order I want you guys in. Alright, Bamanamanamana. Let's go ahead and give you. I don't know. Evasion, I guess. Sure, why not? And then initiative. Lich! Kinda wanna give you the feather. Mainly for that luck and accuracy, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, you get the feather. And then you also get. A little bit of extra evasion and yes, some extra luck. Why not? Alrighty. I'm just gonna get rid of this because this is never gonna actually work for us. I can assure you of that. Okay. Well, my dudes, I appreciate you coming by and checking out some of the new stuff in Wrath of the Necromancer, but three hours is all I got today. 
So, we're going to have to end it about here. Nice Halloween-y game that we had a good time with. Dude, these new characters, the Abomination and the Reaper, are kind of amazing. I mean, this is free insanity, which speaks for itself. And then these two items, getting these two items with the Abomination was like a 10 out of 10. Like, group of trinkets. Absolutely amazing. But if you had a good time here today, make sure to, uh, well, I guess I could say let me know by giving a like, subscribe for more and all that good stuff, because we're on YouTube. Uh, and if you missed any of it, you're probably watching it already on the VOD. Thanks for coming by, guys. I'm going to see if I can do some more in a, a couple of days, actually. Maybe not more Iratus. I still got some Outer Worlds to go through as well. But, uh, thanks again. I'll see you next time. And have a good rest of your Halloween. Mwahahaha. And all that.